I'd like to welcome everybody to the Ben Shapiro Show. As you can see from this portrait next to me, it is I, Ben Shapiro, here with Leander Ottavio, Dino Schlosser, and Austin Schlosser. Austin, you actually said that you emailed Ben Shapiro when you were younger. What was that? No, my girlfriend at the time for my 18th birthday sent him an email to his personal email, and he actually responded and then sent back a picture autographed of himself. And it was to your girlfriend. How old was she? Uh... We were either both 18 or both 17, I remember. Okay, he's a sick fuck, and, and it, he looks like a little sick fuck. You ever look at him? He looks like he would be a guy that would masturbate a lot. Listen, what's your name? Chelsea? You're 17 years old? Oh, God. Yeah, oh, yeah that feels good. I'm approaching climax rapidly. Oh, my God, I'm approaching. Listen, I'm going to send you a photo, okay? I'm going to send you a photo. There's one catch. You can give it to your boyfriend for his birthday, but it is encrusted with my own personal semen. Okay? Oh. It's a memento. Okay? It's an artifact. Something you can remember me by. He would, but say, he would say seminal fluid. The seminal fluids <laughs> from my own vast deference. Do you know what a vast deference? <laughs> probably not, because the educational system in America has gone to shit. Okay? You probably don't know what that is, but it's where the semen is made. It's where the semen flows through. It's going right now all over a portrait of myself, because that's all I masturbate to is portraits oh. to myself. Do, uh, do, him, do him asking to, to have his asshole eaten and pretend that he's lying, but s- pretend that it's his first time. That's his, that's his angle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, this is, I, this, it's completely crazy. I've never asked for anything like this before, okay? This, and it, it's not as if I am a chronic masturbator and a porn addict, and I can only get hard if I have my anus stimulated with the tip of a tongue. That is not the case, okay? It is the first time, and I'm looking to experiment a little bit, okay? The Mrs. Shapiro, she's put on some weight since the children. There, there are four now. We just had a baby, and I am no longer attracted to her, frankly, okay? So if you, 17-year-old girl Chelsea, could, you know, take care of me with your tongue, uh, I would, I, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll, I'll just, we'll have some sort of cash arrangement and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for your daughter's bat mitzvah. I'll tell you this, dude, if it ever, if it ever does come to the service that he was paying for some ass somewhere along the line, I'd believe it. Oh yeah. That'd be rough. Cause Ben Shapiro's whole thing is family values and porn is evil and lust is evil. That would be. I don't know what that would be like. That would be like if he found out that Kentucky Fried Chicken was actually mole rat. Mm. Wouldn't that it be just the best? defeats everything. It's not chicken anymore. Wouldn't you love it if we went into a cigar lounge one one night or like a strip club late at night and we saw just Ben Shapiro with like a bunch of a bunch of Jewish men surrounded by strippers? Mm. And the strippers are putting Ben Shapiro's yarmulke. Hey, take <laughs> my yarmulke back. What are you doing? You fucking whore. No, don't put that up there. You, oh, my God. She put it up her nether regions. Okay, I, I, that was my favorite yarmulke. <laughs> You know, and I'm, I'm still going to wear it. I'm he's, still going to wear it on my program. Oh, he's going to wear it, dude. Oh, 100% yeah. he'll wear it. So, guys, <laughs> congratulations on the new studio slash house. It probably looks sort of the same from the audience's perspective. But we have here a four-bedroom house in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Four bedrooms. You know, we didn't think you guys could pull it off. No. Austin, do you have a mic back there? Yeah, I got one. Okay, cool. I had no faith at all in either one of you. Hey, so far, my you know. track record's been pretty good because the last spot we got, I think, was a pretty good deal. And then this spot's a pretty good deal. Th- though mainly it was probably Aaron or Fed, I think, who really found this one. Austin, can you scoot over so I can see you while you're talking? I don't like yeah, not yeah. being able to see you. There you go. So, Fed, your responsible friend who is shrouded in question marks yep leo and i do not trust that a handsome well-off dude would have anything anything to do with the likes of you danny he has a computer science degree and i believe a job uh, regards in regards with the computer of sciences yeah it, it, we just went into his master bedroom it's nice okay it's a nice place he's got a bathtub there's a gibson sg <laughs> are you a little guitar. jealous of the bathtub I am. I am. Yeah, I am. I'm I'm jealous of the bathtub in the room, yeah. but I am not jealous of the fact that he has this mess of a podcast studio set up outside his door, literally outside the master bedroom door. Mm-hmm. And I am not jealous of the fact that he has Swolby One Kenobi living beneath him, mm-hmm. and he's soon to have King Croc down there as well. Yeah. Are you going to maybe, like you exclaimed at some point today, mouth fuck a chick in this guy's room. No, no, I said you were probably going to do that at some point. Oh, okay, well, couldn't we both? Sure. Only if Dino watches. Listen, everybody. King Croc is potentially going to be your fifth roommate. Right, Austin? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not really too worried about him paying on time and stuff like that. Like, I'll let him sleep in the garage, you know, because I'd rather him not be homeless. Sure. That is very generous of you. How is this rent being divided? Uh, Aaron pays a bit more. 
uh, because his room's nicer. And then yeah, other than should... that, it's split evenly between me, Dino, and Swolby. Okay. Aaron should have to pay a little bit less, though, because he has to tiptoe through a forest of electrical wires to get to his bathroom. He <laughs> might die tripping over something, a boom mic, on the way to the bathroom one night. God, would you? Hopefully, would you I'll sue? have it a little more organized. I think he might sue, and you know, I'm pretty sure the sloshers aren't doing too bad. I mean, he would go after everyone. Oh, he would destroy the slosher family. <laughs> oh, he could get some money out of my parents, but he'd get like I, I think oh I'm negative God. 72 cents right now in my no, bank account. He would, well, congratulations! He would, it's not bad. <laughs> I think you'd incorporate some some of his Soviet connects, maybe harvest some of Dino's organs. Yeah, Dino. If I know the penis isn't an organ. <laughs> But if you could resell that on some sort of black market, a Chinese guy would pay top dollar for his penis. To like in a jar, like a, like in a jar for a mantle oh, piece. From all the hide it floor, a big <laughs> penis. Yeah. Do it to the Japanese guy. Oh, oh, I at once a purchase a very special American penis. A chin chin. It's a chin chin. <laughs> Why did he add so many syllables on the penis? <laughs> no, Let's dude. hear it again. <laughs> I at once. Uh, purchase a very special American penis. Uh, he didn't need the UH on the end of penis. <laughs> penis. Uh, <laughs> but uh, a penis. Oh, it's all. Dino. Uh, yeah, I think absolutely. I'm not even sure that your parents got a birth certificate when you were born. You guys could have been birthed in a field for all I know. It does not strike me as something that's that unlikely. I could see their their parents being in like to a conspiracy theory that would say that like the doctors make your poison your baby sure. if you're out of hospital, so you have to kind of do it in a natural way to really sure. optimize nature's the nature beauty sure. Know, aspect. Sure, sure. Like they read them A is for activist, some book on gender fluidity. Then they give him a shot that makes the kid more likely to be gay. It's possible. I think his parents probably believe that. Their parents are very hippy-dippy. They like to enjoy themselves some pot every now and again. Is it okay if I say that, Austin? Yeah. They like to smoke a little weed. I could see your parents having you guys in a bathtub and there being no paperwork on you. And if that's the case, you're prime <laughs> subjects for organ harvesting. I would love that. Oh, God. I would love to be a bathtub baby. You want, you'd be books. off the grid? I wouldn't have to pay tax. That'd be nice. Is that how it works? Y'all pay me in cash, so if this keeps up... Oh, you mean like you would like to be completely off the grid? Yeah, like if your parents... If you don't have a birth certificate, you basically don't exist. He so just admitted that we paid him in cash. Job. Yeah, no, have yeah. you not paid taxes this year, Austin? Uh, I've never paid taxes, my friend. Austin, what Listen, is wrong? Don't it say is, that. Maybe you should cut that. It is your patriotic duty, Austin. <laughs> it, don't you know that Joe Biden and Congress spend your tax dollar very responsibly? I think for the past, this year I'm going to have to file taxes. I think for the past year, my dad has still had me on as a dependent. And then, uh, yeah, I need to, I have all my bookkeeping and stuff. Like if I actually paid taxes, they would have given me money back. So we're because spending I didn't actually his father's make a money. Profit, or he, really. You know, we're, we're, your father owns you basically. Not anymore. Now I have my own address. Oh, wow. You're free. Yeah. I wonder if you are born in a bathtub or in a field. Do you just not have to pay taxes? How does that work? You can't get a job where they pay you with a... You can't be registered at the IRS and have a job where there's direct deposit. You're mm -hmm. going to have to be working for cash only. Mm -hmm. What's the highest paying job cash? Stripper. You can yeah. be a stripper. If a, a girl from Chechnya comes over here in the fucking bowels of a ship, <laughs> she could be a millionaire stripping tax-free. Or OnlyFans, you can't even do... You can't do OnlyFans. That's the problem for you. So that would be the way to go, probably. But OnlyFans is so annoying. OnlyFans, we just did, we had Maddie Miller mm -hmm. over, and she did a scene for my Patreon that was supposed to be on her OnlyFans. And whenever I try to fill out the form to give my consent to be on OnlyFans, we just stood around and cracking jokes. It's not like I did anything. But it, it just, like, won't accept it. It just it makes it so difficult for any of the girls to get fucking other people in their content. Do you think it's it's a hater within the system of OnlyFans? Maybe someone that we pranked. Per se. I think so. If we go back far enough, I think we can find the guy that's really causing all the problems. I think it's the guy that Austin had the Draco Malfoy beef with on the pier yeah, in Huntington yes. Beach. He's up, he's up high. He's like a CEO for OnlyFans. I could totally see that. He was with two chicks. He was. They he probably used on. to work for Google whenever Leo got his YouTube channel banned. No. It was somebody, the same motherfucker. There's yeah. a mole. That was still, that is still a giant mystery. What the F happened? I don't know. I like it, though. It's kind of made me like a cult 
hero amongst the uh, in the in the in the world of uh, you're a martyr. Yeah, you're like Jesus. Yeah, me they, and me they, and they Steve killed you, but it. it just made you more popular. Exactly. Wow. I'm like Leo Steve Christ. Yeah. Were you when they deleted the channel? Did it feel like you were hung up on a cross and they were offering you wine and a sponge? Oh, absolutely. And uh, and then I had to let go. I had to let go and say, well, it mm-hmm. is what it is. And then three days later, your penis rose, mm-hmm. and you were over it, and you could masturbate again. Exactly. For a second, I had no sex drive, and that was the real crisis. How long after your channel get deleted, got deleted did you wait until you masturbated? I think it was just a beeline, dude. A fucking beeline wow. right home. Wow. To go to the happy place, huh? Hmm. Where were you when you found out it got deleted? I was uh, at, I think I was, oh yeah, it was a great night because I met that, <laughs> I met that that really hot chick with you at the show at uh, on Sunset. What was that? I don't know anything. No, the, dude, we were, we, with the guys, dude. I'm the, the rock band. Bella, yeah, Bella La Vella. Oh, sure. So this was more recent than I remember. This was in spring 2022. Yeah. And you hooked up with a hot chick you met at the show who was like 19 or something. Yeah, it was a good night. And you pretended maybe that she was the daughter of an executive at YouTube. And that explains why you did such foul things. I think I remember thinking, you know, life, uh, life's funny. You know, it, it gives you a lot. Then it takes it's finite, away. too. And it is finite. It takes away, dude. You know, life giveth and it taketh. Hmm. Wow, That's where I was. That's very profound of you. When did you become a big Mariners fan? Um, I put this on because uh, it's uh, it kind of looks flashy. You know what I mean? But I'm not a big Mariners fan at all. But it's a cool jersey. I like the color. You know? You're doing all right. I'm not used to seeing you barefoot on this podcast. Can you zoom in on his feet? Well, I mean, what do you, I'm wear, I wore Birkenstocks here. What am I supposed to do? I just, I need you with some sort of idiotic footwear or it doesn't feel like the Leo and Danny show. Is it off right now? Is there something off? It's a little off. You, no, no, not with the podcast necessarily, but your look right now. Doesn't he feel like he's lacking some vital Leo essence? He needs the Crocs on. I think he needs the Crocs. Damn it. So can we wear shoes in here? Oh, I, mean, you I thought this was an Asian podcast. No, now. you can wear shoes because uh, I'll mop a lot. Just not on the carpet for right now because they just got cleaned. Yeah. No one yet, no. Hey, you know what I forgot, too? Bryce Hall sent me out a bunch of his new vodka. We should get Doc Ock, who's coming on the podcast soon, just hammered with it. Oh, that sounds great. I mean, that, uh, he might be right at home. He might be already hammered when he arrives. But anyway. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. That'll be good. It'll lead to a more positive review of the vodka, which I'm sure Bryce Hall would appreciate. He doesn't have enough money. Listen, guys, forget our merch, our Patreons. Support Bryce H. Hall. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it, man. I mean, because he doesn't get a lot of pussy, so he has to pay for it, I heard. He lives so. in a crappy, crappy house in the yeah. West Hollywood Hills. I think it only retails for about $4 million. Right. And it doesn't even have, like, a great view because he can only see, like, a little bit of the ocean. Yeah. He can't really see, like, a huge chunk of it. It's mostly just Beverly Hills and downtown he can see. Right. I mean, it's unobstructed. He can see the entire Los Angeles yeah. Valley. And he has full privacy on, on the entire, because it's like a peninsula property, mm-hmm. so he can kind of basically be completely naked in his infinity pool with just a ton of chicks. But it's, but again, only a piece of the ocean. Guys, we need you to click right now the link in the description mm-hmm. for his new... It's called Blackout, which is the most <laughs> aggressive. I'm surprised that legally that was even okay. When Nell yeah. created Happy Dad, there were a bunch of stipulations they had to go through to keep their liquor license. They couldn't promote it in a way that was deemed irresponsible. Mm-hmm. Like Salim the Dream couldn't be hanging from a chandelier doing a double shotgun. Mm-hmm. Bryce Hall just has fucking blackout, dude. Like, fuck you guys. Drink till you can't see anymore. <laughs> fucking commit incest. You're so okay, drunk. Okay. That's where I want you to be. All right. If you got to go, <laughs> if you got to go one up with a name to kind of be even worse than that, what would you go with? Oh, my God. Rectal bleeding. I like that. Rectal bleeding is going to be the name get of my down. gin. Yeah. <laughs> Rectal bleeding. Or get dick. Get, get dick. dick. <laughs> and the bottle's going to be shaped like a fucking raging cock, dude. Yeah. yeah. A so raging cock. It's just become so popular for just heavy set Latinas. Just love <laughs> chugging, <laughs> just chugging that shit. Dude. And then we have a really good glass blower guy, maybe out in Sweden or something. <laughs> and he's so good with glass that on the raging veiny penis, there's a razor blade. With a with a strip of scotch tape surrounding the penis, like the erection has a razor blade taped to it. Oh my god, dude! 
I don't. I didn't need to add that. I didn't need to add that. So it's basically it's like the no, razor dildo no, no, in no, seven. No, yeah, you have to go. No, we're, I'm going to push you to go above that now. <laughs> now you have to go further up. Okay, go further up. The now. The, the Swedish glass blower goes like, eh, so Mister Hall, I've uh, or this is my product. So Mister Mullen, in addition to the razor blade, I have also added a, a sort of a, a brownish coloring to the tip. And I have raised it in a <laughs> chunky fashion that resembles a human a feces. Oh my god! Extracted. Dude. I just got back from Italy, so everything sounds like an Italian. Oh. Dude, everybody in Italy really talks like how we make fun of Italians no for way, talking. Like Arrivederci, Roma. Dude, unbelievable. There was a guy who served us dinner on the last night, the best pasta dinner I have ever had. His arms, wow. they never fell below the equator. Always up here, like, we have here the Tagliatelle pasta and made by Chef Antonio this morning. Wow. Adding syllables like your Japanese guy. I think every time he does that, because I know Italians, because I'm kind of like 20 something percent Italian, I'll tell you what he does. He does the whole thing and he comes right back in, lights a cigarette, and goes, Stupid Americans, oh, huh? I got another one, those dumb motherfuckers, huh? Oh. They don't know the difference between a tagliatelle and a gnocchi. Guess where the sauce is? It's ragu. <laughs> it's their own shit. Oh, I order it from a Walmart in America and put it on their pasta. The pasta, the pasta is from a Target. And guess what? Every comment says it's the best pasta in Italy. It's the greatest. I'm a genius. <laughs> Fucking stupid Americans. <laughs> that was like French. I don't know. It was. They all talk like that though. Wow. And they are all, you know how you kind of assume Italian guys, like, you would think that all they care about is just riding scooters around and getting tourist pussy? Yeah. Actually pretty Catholic. You're going to see it in my late, I apologize, late video that's going to go up tomorrow. I went into a cappuccino place. Best cappuccino ever made. And I told the guy behind the counter, trying for a sincere compliment, dude, this cappuccino, it, it tastes like the Virgin Mary's breast milk. The smile on his face evaporated. He got so angry, Leo. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I didn't... Dude, he was like 20 and had tattoos all over the place. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh, yeah. Is anybody else upset? Because, Danny, you were uh, told a nice Italian boy... This I'm not Catholic, you know, Protestant over here. We don't really dude, care that much. <laughs> dude, this that affected that was like saying that was almost just saying that you wanted to like fuck his mom. I don't I think it was that the same. Bad. I think it was on the same. L I, listen, the Virgin Mary saying her breasts produce a, a beautiful elixir. That is a compliment to the Virgin Mary. I think you're sick, dude. I don't think that you you can't function in society and definitely not in Europe. This proved it. I couldn't. Let's talk about Europe. Yeah, could we do could we have just made a video that would have been incredible there? Yes. If we had Nico there, but you know what's real. Really, really hard to contend with the jet lag. Damn. The jet lag over there. So flying from Los Angeles to Rome and then to Florence, that flight from Los Angeles to Rome feels twice as long as any flight should be. Torture? You, you, you feel like you're Magellan sailing off the edge of the earth. Because after six hours, usually for all intents and purposes, you're at your destination. But you look at the 3D global map of where your plane is on planet Earth, and you're still just barely into the Atlantic Ocean. Oh. And you have to sail over Iceland, over more ocean, over Europe, part of the Mediterranean or whatever, and then into Rome. And you're like, oh, my God. The guy next to me is obese. The person in front of me is reclining their seat so I can hardly move forward an inch or two. I'm going to have a panic attack on this plane. Damn. That is awful. Yeah. You get there, though, and you don't know. Like, the sun never set. The whole trip, the sun doesn't set. Yeah. So you don't know if it's Monday, if it's Sunday, if it's Tuesday. People are texting you in L.A., and it's like the middle of the night, and they just woke up. I was sleeping like, like uh, I don't know, a, a baby that just ate a roofie. Like, that's what my sleeping pattern was like, just fucking passing out randomly, like, it sounds like torture, man. I mean, is that why Nico around hour three would have snorted three or four Xanax pills? And, uh, you know, incidentally, the people who were next to me on the flight, they were going to the wedding, too. And they both took Xanax pills. Dude, how'd, that, how'd they go for them? They were conked out for 13 straight hours in the flight. Fucking idiot, dude. You should have done it. Why didn't you? Well, I, I'm not going to open the door to a new prescription drug just because I want to enjoy a flight a little more. Well, I, I know a guy who's a real fiend. And you know him, too, because he's a good friend of ours, Nico. And he has not... <laughs> 
He has not gotten to the point where he's doing anything crazy for Xanax. He barely uses it. He uses it on the plane. Yeah. When he's very uncomfortable, sitting, yeah. sitting between us, taking your abuse, you know, yeah, he, you know, all that. Do you think he's still because Nico? He only admitted that he took Xanax on one flight, but then again, he secretly gets Nixie drunk at airports all the time, all the time. Oh, are you suggesting that maybe one of those times he goes to the bathroom, he's really snorting a Xanax pill, Leo? Now that you put it together like that. I mean, think about it, dude. How many trips, how many times have we been in Texas or Portland? We turn our back on Nico for one second. Like, All right, guys, I'm going to go grab a sandwich from Jersey Mike's later. <laughs> he comes back in 15 and his eyes are swimming around in his head and he can't stand straight. He doesn't look. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's there anymore. It's it's an animal. Almost. It's, an, it's almost an animalistic like appearance. He comes back. He's like an animatronic almost. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's weird. And, and it sounds like we're exaggerating, but there have absolutely been five times I can think of right now where he's come back shit faced <laughs> after what was supposed to be a bathroom break. Yeah. And you can't really communicate with him much. He'll kind of say things like we're not filming. That's his one thing. I'm like we're not filming. I love that logic because we're not doing our job right now. Any amount of substance consumption is valid. Like because it's Sunday morning and I just woke up, I'm not filming unscrew the cap of the bottle of Captain Morgan, glug, 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 blackout. I think we need to have everyone on this podcast experience that. And maybe for like a, maybe when, when is our 200th episode? Did we already pass it? I don't know. I we haven't passed it. We would know. I think we just hit 190. Ooh. Oh, maybe in 10 episodes, Danny. Nico has to get blacked out on the pod. Well, you realize he did that on the 100th episode. Yes, yeah, so that's what I mean. We It's tradition at this point. We need a security guard who can restrain him, though, if need be. Mm -hmm. We do. He needs a personal security guard who isn't there to protect him or to protect us. I think we do an hour podcast right into stand up, mm. and then we uh, we close out the show with Nico. With Nico doing something, he has to do something. Maybe he's got to masturbate down. on stage. Oh my god, that'd be the best thing ever. <laughs> We've talked about how the ultimate <laughs> program, you know, the ultimate entertainment. Howard Stern used to say he was the king of all media. Michael Jackson was the king of pop. Nico <laughs> would be the all-time king of amusement. Yeah. If he had a live stream where Leo and I have talked, <laughs> We've about, this talked about this a lot. Yeah. He does a power hour to ACDC. Every minute he's got to take a <laughs> shot of beer. He gets increasingly drunk. At first he's like, oh boy. Oh, it's not going down easy. 30 minutes later, it's a hey, fuck you, bee sting 906. <laughs> Fucking only 99 cent donation. Fuck you, dude. But then after the power hour is over, it's just Nico <laughs> completely spent looking up at the wall while like fucking uh, way to hell place. And then Nico just, you see him unzip his little jeans. Oh God, he dude. pulls out the limp wee wee. Oh, come on. Locks dude. out his legs and just starts <laughs> masturbating. And uh, and some people have to they stay like three hours for the completion, dude. It just becomes like how long till he can complete, dude. It takes that it, long. It, it takes a while. Wow. Yeah. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, thank God you wouldn't be able to see whatever sick porno he was dude, pulling up. I guarantee you that Dino would subscribe and be there for every one of those streams. Yeah, Dino was already <laughs> subscribed secretly to a bunch of gay OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, the wedding, though, dude. One of the first things that struck me at the wedding was. There were a lot of dudes there dating girls who were porn stars. Okay. Now, are you, uh, was it normal? I mean, it's obviously normalized in our society, sort of, but not a lot of people get to spend time with them because I guess it, they're just, there's not that many of them, right? So how was it? They're, they're dating super famous chicks, too. I mean, let's talk about Kazumi's boyfriend because they're super open about it. I don't feel talking about, I don't feel bad about talking about it. Christian is his name. One of the cool, hey, action cam guy. Where are you? He never used to do this back in the studio. Dino is going downstairs. Just, oh, it's my house, dude. I can do whatever I want. Screw you, Dino. Get back up here. I hate when you do shit like this, dude. Okay, yeah. Someone just, someone was like opening on the door. So. Oh, did you beat the shit out of him? Yeah, dude. Someone came into the... You don't know who... Like someone that's in the house right now? We, we probably should take care of that oh, right now. Protect the house, bro. Before, yeah, go choke him oh, out. Oh, what's up, dude? It's oh. fed. <laughs> it's what's the going guy. on, dude? Sit down, dude. Yeah, sit down. But fuck it. Oh, we're gonna talk about Kazumi in a second. But Fed, <laughs> the master of the house, is here. 
Well, just quite, quite a couple quick questions in a second, dude. But let, first, let's talk about Kazumi. It, if you're such a smart guy, you think you would know that microphones are required to amplify his voice. There he is. There it is. Sorry, that was How insulting. Doing, Fed, it's good to see you, buddy. But we are just suspicious yeah. about your motives for allowing this. <laughs> yeah. Why are you so suspicious, man? Because a guy like yourself who's put together, why are you hanging out with these jackoffs? <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, I like their free <clears throat> spirit. You know, a lot of people that are sucked into the corporate bullshit uh, are not that fun to hang out with. Uh huh. I you, see. So you're in the corporate world and you're bored by those people. You no, need I mean, I've been, I've been around them my whole life, you know, and I've, I've been wanting to do things outside of my comfortable corporate life mm-hmm. the entire time I've been doing it. Mm-hmm. So I'm working on both things at the same time. Now, let me ask you this, Fed. <laughs> are you not worried that right now in the same shot with you is two guys wearing MAGA hats. Is that going to be good for your corporate brand? Uh, probably not. There are I mean, two guys yeah, wearing MAGA hats. Dino, can you show Austin and yourself with the MAGA hats? Idiots. There we go. Fed, let's get a shot of that. How do you hey, feel? Hey. How would HR react to that shot right there? This is so dumb, you know? <laughs> Uh, not so well, probably. Okay. And are you willing it's, to accept it's that? It's a Texas company. So maybe yeah, but if they there. fire you because you were seen hanging out with some guys with MAGA hats on, that's a lawsuit right there. You know, Is it? Well, if they fire you specifically because you're like Christian or something, then you can sue. But if they say that you just don't fit the corporate uh, whatever, like vibe you create a hostile they, work environment then they can fire you but if they directly say like oh it's because you're christian or something yeah. that's where the suit comes in yeah well i mean fed have you come clean about the fact that you're a member of patriots prayer <laughs> what's patriots prayer i man? think it's one of those things where they, they wear masks and like bulletproof vests and <laughs> yeah, go yeah. protest in places now are you excited for you know a guest to come to your uh to your home to and you know yeah, it'll be fun i like meeting new people i mean what if we, you know, send you a little gift, if you know what I mean, into your into your room one of these days? In the I'm form for surprises, I guess. In the form of an OnlyFans girl yeah. saying she uh, she'll do anything that we say that she. That I mean, she I don't does, think you even you know? have to send the gift. Mm. What do you mean? I'll make it happen if they're over here. Oh, you'll make it happen if they're over here. Okay, so we got... <laughs> he's, you're the resident badass, I well, guess. Well, he shares that King Croc-like delusion. See, I think yeah. he just got your answer, Danny. I think it's because he knows there's going to be some there's only no fun if there's tale no, if there's no coming you, through right. here on a regular this is, basis. This will be great. In fact, this is what we'll do. We'll have you uh, host them from the, uh, from the street in a tuxedo, nonetheless, mm. and you will bring them up the stairs and you will start being like, a la- like you'll start wooing them as soon as you meet them every time and we'll have a chart. We'll see how many times you close. Forget your job. That's not important anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to make sure we start, po- we'll podcast at 9 a.m. Yes. That's what we'll do. Just to screw with Fed's job. 9 a.m. <laughs> I like how yeah. Fed says that he's like excited to meet interesting people as if the guests we have on this podcast are worth getting to know. Yeah, yeah I'll be honest. <laughs> this week, my, for Fed, this week I was working on getting a guy who people on the internet call the retarded Andrew Tate on the podcast. The retarded Andrew Tate. Yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's, that's like, awesome. There's, awesome. there's like an autistic Andrew Tate. It's pretty incredible. So yeah, Fed, I don't know if that's the kind I, of guy uh, you want to I mean, out. if you want to meet that guy, he wants to fly in so <laughs> from Oregon. So We have Dr. Octopus coming this afternoon. All right, yeah, Dr. he's Octopus. formally done fentanyl. I don't know if you're aware of that. Formerly, I don't, I don't buy know it. that. Currently. 15 minutes ago. Yeah. He needs, Formerly, he needs yeah, another just hit. Just earlier today. But, yeah. the good, but the good thing is you can... Really, probably mouth fucking for fifty bucks. I'm just kidding. Bro. He needs another hit of fentanyl. Fed, what's the gayest thing you've ever done? Now that oh you've God. already tarnished uh, your former brand, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I, I haven't done anything. Uh, I haven't made the advancement. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I've had advanced <laughs> advancements. So those were. Are you talking about climbing the corporate ladder? You had to do something. What do you mean advancements? <laughs> I'm just talking about. Uh, you're talking about gay, gay acts. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had them done on me. Oh, more really? So then. You know, uh, somebody you know, like slapped your ass. I mean, not like it's not still like gay rage. to get a blowjob. No, I just mean like you know, people try to grab you and stuff. All right, in, that's fine. In yeah, like so a sexual way, but not like. Is there anybody like you'd like to come clean about it? Your company who did this to you? No. Okay, no, no, well, I, I work with good people. All right, that's great. Do you work remotely? 
Yeah. Somebody could still, you know, stand up at the computer desk and have no pants on. Yeah. It's assault. <laughs> That's a great move. That would be amazing. That guy on CNN, he was jerking off on camera, dude. Yeah, a lot of people got pinched when that whole Zoom thing was going on. Oh, yeah. It's hard to know how much of it was an accident and how much of that was... They knew they could blame it on being an accident. Sort of like when a girl's crowd surfing at OzFest and you grab her titty. You could yeah. be like, I was trying to push her forward. Dude. That was my excuse. I least. think the <laughs> one guy that got that was jerking off, I think it was like his favorite time of the week. It was like the Monday morning meeting and he would just jerk off to like Elizabeth, like this, you know, one of the girls on cam live yeah. every morning. And it was just the only time of the week that he felt alive, you know? That's got to be a fantasy of a lot oh, yeah. of guys. Yeah, like, and then a, a, camera. Ruined his like the worst case scenario of all time. I think I would have cigar guide and just bounced to the Bahamas forever. Mm. No one will ever hear from me again mm. if that happens. Mm. It's tough, especially if it gets picked up by the national media. That happened. It's one thing if nobody cares about it outside of your company, because I mean, everybody you work with are probably losers. That includes not you, Fed, but the people you work with are probably losers. Uh, so fuck them. I like, saw. I, I saw do you want to pull it out and jerk it? Come on. <laughs> I saw a clip on the internet. I, I thought of you, Danny. Yeah. Uh, What's that? It was. Um, <laughs> I don't know why my algorithm did this to me, but uh, it was um, it was Pete Davidson talking to uh, this one actor who has a podcast he did with Shia, I forget his name, um, John Bernthal, actually, John Bernthal, it's a podcast, listen to this story. He tells a story about they had to put him in a harness, right, on uh, <laughs> where they goes around like you're junk the harness and like on your back so they could suspend you in the air for stunts. And his fucking cock was so big, it didn't fit in the harness, he said. And they go, the only other guy that we've seen that has like they had the same problem was John Bernthal. And they're both on the fucking same podcast fucking talking about that, dude. I don't think you'll ever recover if you see that clip. Dude. Yeah. Then again, if you put a harness on me, it, it would look like my package was all cock. But maybe this is a throwback on the channel. Like, I'm, people who don't know, I have my nutsack's God, pretty big. But do you remember Nutsack Ned? Yes. Like Nutsack Ned, probably a hundred plus people in various capacities all over the world think he has the biggest penis <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He has such giant nuts. It's one testicle he has. And I have lops up. One of my nuts is bigger than the other. Nutsack Ned has a testicle, no exaggeration, as big as this microphone. Am I exaggerating, Leo? <laughs> nah, that thing looks like a mango, dude. It, it looks, looks like this. It's like a big mango. And if he went skydiving for like his 18th birthday, all the jump instructors think he has the biggest penis on earth. Anybody he's ever gone swimming with, likewise, think about that. So you can't always it's, it's trust annoying. the it's big annoying. package. Yeah. You can't always trust the bulge in the harness. 100%. But can't you know it. what? You've you've moved in you've moved in a young man that has a bit of a package and uh, what if Dino what if Dino had sex with a woman that you were pursuing the entire night at like a house party here? I'm talking the whole night, but he does it in your bed. Do you crank the rent uh, up? It's, it's, yeah, it's the bed that's the problem, you know, if he pulls <laughs> okay. it off. And uh, that, that's no, great. No, it's in, your, it's in your bathtub. Yeah. In the bathtub. Hmm. I mean, if he cleans out the bathtub, maybe. <laughs> you make him clean out the bathtub? Yeah. Well, I mean, he'd have to make a good attempt at it. Hmm. But in the bed, that's that's too far, man. That's I would too far. I would never recover if I think if a, if like I had a chick over and she banged Dino, dude. I don't know what I would do. I would go crazy. Yeah, I think you, <laughs> you just I, on Monday on the pod, I'd just be like, Danny, I kill myself. Uh, you would have started taking up his characteristics. You sound like him a little bit. Is yeah, that what dude, happens? That'd be hot, dude. If I'd Dino be... fucks your girl, you start acting like Dino? I think I smoke the fuck up. Yeah, it's probably. I smoke way too much if I do. Wow. If that happens. That'd be amazing. Yeah, if Dino beats you out for a chick, because, I mean... It's probably going to happen at some point. He's a he's a good-looking guy. His wardrobe is questionable, especially right now. Yeah. I mean, with a MAGA hat, if he beats you out for a chick, that's really, really impressive. It would be impressive. The yeah. thing is, though, Dino, I just do not trust his ability to communicate with a woman. His verbal game. I don't know, Fed. You've seen probably Dino out interacting with chicks. How is he? He's very confident. That is true. For so, no reason at all. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he has that working for him, but he yeah. doesn't say anything normal necessarily. <laughs> Not fat. Every time. Which is we, a good strategy. Yeah. Actually. You seem like a really good, nice guy, dude. But you know, the, it, you, we're we're just kind of protecting our friends here and making sure that you're not going to take advantage of either one of them in any way sexually or other you know we're we're trying to we were just trying to grill you (laughs) we were trying to grill you with a bunch of different questions i know we asked you we've done i've got a couple more i mean fed tell us about the cameras you installed in their bedrooms (laughs) come clean about it what about the bathroom cam 
It, it's just the the powder room downstairs. Mm, that is smart. Um, I uh, if Dino was um um open to starting like a webcam jerking off kind of thing going uh, in the house, um, mm. are you open to it? A gay I webcam. I don't want to see it. You know, you don't want to see it. But what he he wants to do it like in, his in room? the studio. No, in the studio. In the studio. That's the problem. <laughs> he wants to do it right in the middle of the studio because it's like a Leon Danny show thing. Like he. He has to do it for you know, the fans that are going to pay for it, but they, they want it He's in the studio. He's going to have to like install a curtain situation. He, he refuses to do that because of lighting purposes, hmm. and it could be at any time <laughs> of the day or night, any time uh, of the day or night. So you could have a girl, a girl, a girl, a girl could uh, could be over in your bedroom, and you guys want to go make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches downstairs. But hey, you got a thirty minute Dino <laughs> whacking off session for webcam right here. What are you doing? Uh. We're we're not gonna let that happen, do you know? If you guys were smart, you would turn this into a big jerk farm. <laughs> if this was Dude, a call it jerk the farm. jerk farm. <laughs> call it the jerk farm. And it just you guys are male only fans, guys, but you're still kind of base because you're like, we don't fuck girls, dude, on our shit, dude. It's just us. What are we farming exactly? <laughs> you're farming uh, <laughs> uh, fucking cash, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, basically, dude. <laughs> you're just selling jizz. Yeah, you're you're planting jizz and Dollar bells are growing. It reminds me of like, <laughs> uh, like a milking station at some big cattle farm, basically. Except for you have a bunch of dudes with like penis pumps on, just getting their oh, jizz sucked. That's so fucked up. Damn. Twenty four hours a day. Swolby will be over here in the singlet with his cock out. King Croc, when he eventually comes in, I'm sure he'll be down. He'll never be able oh, to get man, hard. There's a lot of dicks out here. Damn, I, I know. <laughs> when you told me to move into the garage, I didn't realize it was going to be gay and shit. Uh. I didn't realize you were going to be having the jerk off station in the garage, man. <laughs> you know, like, no, no, I'll still stay. I'll still stay here, but just It'd like, so funny. watch it on the gay shit. <laughs> It'd be so funny if Dino's just caught fucking, just wakes up, crock, jerk it off, dude, in the, in the garage. Like, I got to get the session in, dude. Fucking fuck off. Yeah, it's the jerk farm, dude. There is no right to privacy. So are you guys going to have an opening party to christen this place? I think we should. Yeah, I think we, we should get some porn stars over here. Mm. What is wrong with you, dude? Mm. That is the worst thing you could possibly do, I think. for Your, your landlord is going to be upset about well, that. Well, let's talk about porn stars. That's what we were talking about before Fed sat down on the couch. I'm going to take a quick piss, do it. and let's do it. Let's get back onto this. Uh, Fed, would you mind bringing out that SG? Fed is a man of many talents, and uh, well, he is. And I saw he's got a really nice Gibson solid body guitar, made famous by Angus Young. Pretty much just Angus Young. I mean, who else plays the SG famously? Um, it's been a long time since Leo's had like a nice young boy, you know, man in his uh, corner to like you know help him with things. So. <laughs> All mean, right, let's get fast. back on the subject of guitar. <laughs> uh, yes, I don't don't downplay that. I mean, I agree with you. Right, are we talking about Doc Ock? Or are we talking about Fed? Uh, I guess Fed, right? I mean, let's be honest. The easiest person in this room to have sex with, well, Brooks, you're in the in the ring too. But yeah, I'm thinking Brooke, Doc Ock. Brooks wins this one. I don't know. I think I could fuck you, Doc Ock. I think I could talk to you and just let me fuck you. Yeah, it would be money, maybe a little cash incentive. Oh yeah, done. We would have done. to switch though. We would just be straight you on top. What would have to happen? We gotta switch out. We gotta fuck each other. Yeah. It's only fair, dude, because then it's not gay. <clears throat> okay, so then now we know that you're really hitting rock bottom because you're talking about having sex with this. You have a girlfriend, man. Are you? Well, he's, he's also, Leo, he said that he wants to switch out, okay? It's not gay. <laughs> okay, I guess not. I guess if you do, but you're right, I guess. If he's not just naked in the ass. Yeah, I mean. The, oh, that's the new rule out there? Well, you know, it's just I'm not the only one dominating. <laughs> and so he can maintain his self-respect. <clears throat> Here, let's hear oh, it. Shit. Let's hear it, Fed. And give me the count in with like the palm mute. It's like the ch Yep. Let's hear it. And keep it going, too, Fed. Tune up and then keep it going. All right, all right, just keep talking. I'll tune it up. All right, he's got to tune that thing up. Even if it's a little out of tune, come on, dude. You think the animals who are listening to this pop... His B string's a little flat. You never oh, know, dude, man. that D? That new sharp on the D. Yeah, I think there's one expert probably yeah, in there. Very, very particular about it, man. <clears throat> oh, that is way out of tune. That G string. And Fed, you should probably kill yourself based on that. Dino, I want to dedicate this song to you. Thank you. It's, uh, it, here we go. Yeah. Oh, come on. What, is, what if Fed was so responsible that we could just... Yeah. <laughs> Need some work on that little riff there. <laughs> 
Latinos? Yay! It's okay. You make a man come anyway. His ass is loose. Loose caboose. Got his hair slicked back with moose and Dino. Dino's gay. Dino's gay. Dino's gay. Has sex with men. Has sex with men with no condom. And now he has AIDS. Uh, nice fed. Bam, my boy. Dude, he killed that shit, dude. Thanks, yeah. Angus. That seems pretty hard to do. How advanced do you have to be to like pull that little riff off? Uh, more advanced than fed, clearly. Yeah, it's no stairway to Detrons, but I think it's got potential for sure. Yeah, that's uh, you probably hadn't pulled out that lick in a long time, too. That was the first time he played it. Could you, could you do it? I, you know, I could play that lick, but he's probably right. The first time he busted the guitar out in a while and played, it might, it might hey, go play right. off, dude. I don't know that. I don't. Did All right, you, let go. Need, go. Go get I the guitar do, back over here. <laughs> God damn it! It's, it's you're already saying you have a bigger <laughs> cock than the no, owner of this establishment, it. dude. I gotta try it. Back. It's already a big dick contest, everyone. All right, you need to do the. You got to do the lyrics now, dude. No, I can't do the lyrics. You're yeah, gonna do them, Brooks. <laughs> you're gonna do them, Brooks. That's why you're on this podcast. No, no, go for it. Practice a little. But you got the same amount of time that he's got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dino's gay. Yeah, go, Austin. Gay as fuck, gay as fuck, gay as fuck. Yeah, it's Dino when he's out here. He's sucking fucking dick. He's a gay ass motherfucking retarded. F- he got a oh, tiny penis. Have you even heard this song before? God. <laughs> Turn Probably. it. It took a Lincoln Mount Park. Direction. I made it a Lincoln Park song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Austin. Though you and I said the same thing in essence, your word choice. We might have to bleep that a little bit. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Um. Hey, you know, just YouTube policy and all that, but. Hey, guys, uh, before we talk a little bit more about Italy, I want to I want to help you, Dr. Octopus, to black out. Wow. Oh, shit. What is it? And that's a brand we were talking about earlier, which we think the marketing. What do you think about that marketing? Unbelievable. Huh? I, I can't believe this is legal. Yeah. Just black out. Yeah. How are the girls drinking that, Danny? What are you thinking? I love it. Oh, stop. I love it. No, yeah. well, responsibly, but you're, you're looking forward to tucking your in at night, obviously. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Leo, exactly. Yeah. I am looking forward to being the hero yes. who escorts blacked out chicks from fraternity houses exactly. back to their dorm. I know, because that's who you are. That's I've been, who I am. I, I've been out with you endless times. I know how you are. Throw this on right now. This is Bryce Hall's new alcohol brand. We're checking oh, it out. Wow. Yeah, throw it on, buddy. This is huge. This I is thought, a big day I for you. I thought it was going to be like a black-owned business. But <laughs> that would be nah. amazing. Doc and, Ock, and this maybe, is a big day for you, you bro. Know, Bryce Hall is 10% black. He does identify as BIPOC. So, yeah, it actually is a black-owned business now that I think about it. It's great because you're already sweating, so it's going to really help keep all the fucking juices <laughs> in, dude. <laughs> Leo, are you implying something? Are you saying what? he's drunk or he's unhealthy? Why are you pointing uh, out that he's sweating? No, no, no nothing at all, man. I mean, he might have taken a cocktail of, of a couple of pills this morning, maybe uh-huh. mixed it with a little blunt and uh, and a couple of shots of whiskey with uh, about four four locos. And where are you at, dude? Where? No, I didn't smoke. What are you drinking? <laughs> what are you drinking? Mm. Well, it should soon to be a blackout. Well, yeah. Black cherry. Wait, is this? In, these are alcoholic beverages. These are alcoholic beverages manufactured by one Bryce Hall, who is a supporter of the channel and sent a case I, out. I, I, I feel like there was a, like the whole Keemstar thing that happened from the. A couple Talking in the back. mic. <clears throat> Refresh our memory. You painted something for Bryce, no, and he didn't that's credit you. It was. I like Bryce Hall. It was a fucked up situation where. Um, I painted, it was a prank on Bryce Hall where I went to the Sway House. Oh, I missed the Sway House. Yeah. And I painted Bryce Hall like as a goblin being held by his roommate, Josh, uh, Richards, uh-huh. I think his name is. And the whole thing, basically Keemstar kind of fucked over Bryce more than anyone because I was talking about how I, I was working with someone from like the old, uh, vlog squad, this dude who like helped get this project and he promised me he was like yeah man it's gonna bring great new like audience to you they'll shout to you your out painting. And exactly and sure. i was like all right sure i'll just like do all this work for free and then 
essentially I did it and wasn't, I didn't get what was promised to me at first. It, it, they made good in it later on, but what they ended up happening, later on. what ended up happening was Keemstar picked up the story and it was basically Bryce Hall scams this artist. Oh, and like man. the joke was on Bryce Hall to begin with. So now not only does this poor guy have a prank played on him, but now he's getting his name smeared through the mud. It's yeah. fucked up. I'm it's, sure when like two chicks were just blowing on his cock and he yeah. got the notification that that happened, I bet he was Dude, really upset. I, yeah. was I'm sure nightmare. it took him a couple more seconds to come yeah. and then he went to sleep I mean, and it was the best sleep of his life. And he just <laughs> didn't give a shit. Slept through the night. That's and, See, Dino is going to, I don't know, like sodomize a dog yeah. and then it's it's gonna be on keemstar's fucking drama alert danny mullen <laughs> sodomizes a dog like that's how it works whoever is or, or leo dottavio is gonna get blamed for it. Yeah. whoever is like at the top of the organization you yeah. saw it with david dobrik yeah. a guy was accused of sexual misconduct in david dobrik's squad he's dismissed from the squad david dobrik opens a pizza shop and people spray paint rapist on the side of david dobrik's pizza shop <laughs> how does that add up i don't know but we should have done that for a video spray painting rapist on david dobrik's <laughs> pizza shop that's a fucking title the dude. Ultimate prank should we right still there, do it and you know youtube prank. would kind of back it like Wait all this all the pc fucking Wee. sjw's at youtube would love that we did that saltine the new graffiti artist of the world. Oh, dude, we should do it. I love salty. What him, about a what about a buy David Dobrik's pizza and eat it in front of a homeless person prank? That's what all the rage these days. Like are. our boy Trey. <laughs> I, mean, I, try one of I saw that video Trey did. I first of all, I think it was probably staged, or maybe he made up for it afterwards. I thought it was fucking funny. <laughs> I liked what Trey did. What, we ate, ate in front of the homeless guy? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> because like, I, I just like that that guy's one of our, our fans. I'm sorry. Is, is, it? is it because we've been in the trenches with the homeless recently? Uh, no, I just think it's because like I met that guy. At first, I like what that guy was doing, like faking his death, <laughs> like posting a bunch of weird shit about us. I was a little bit put off. But then when I met him, I sort of got him. When I saw that he had two pet ferrets and he came in a white face to our comedy show. I worry about the ferrets. But like, otherwise, he was a pretty cool guy, and I sort of got him. I was like, all right, he's just a, a, an eccentric who wants to blow up on social media. I get it. And therefore, when I see him from that angle, I, I thought the, the homeless guy's burger was kind of genius. Did you see the jerking off to the in front of the Starbucks employee video, though? I like him even more now. <laughs> that one was good. He just goes <laughs> up to the register, like, as he's ordering at Starbucks with his hand in his pants, just staring this girl in the eyes and pretending to jack off. Damn. I mean, you know, just a crazy, <laughs> yeah, just kind of low-key a crime. What, <laughs> what platform was that okay huh? on? I mean, all of them, you know, because, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, you, are you saying that's, I get what you're saying, well, Leo. He, he, Shame he on you. No, stop. I mean, <clears throat> I think he's, I mean, he's not in jail right now, dude. I, I think that if I uh -huh. put up a video going to my <laughs> local, I don't know, dude, let's take it a step up. Let's, let's say it's the fucking host of Cheesecake Factory families everywhere just to be you're saying it's reverse racism is why you can't go into cheesecake factory and yeah and and pretend to be jerking off while i look into a girl's eyes you know what i mean and put it on video put it on my social media dude i think i'm going to jail at least for a, a week i don't think it has anything to do with race leo i think it has you especially if you went in there with your oakley's mm -hmm. or your baseball shades and mm -hmm. you did that it would be fucking terrifying. I think somebody <laughs> would tase me, probably. Whereas Trey doing Never it, spray. Trey is, he isn't a very large figure. He's kind of a smaller he's a dude. smaller guy, yeah. He's got ferrets. He's like a, he's a jester, you know? He looks like a little bit clown, yeah, clown-like, yeah. I think you masturbating <clears throat> while making eye contact with the woman would be maybe the scariest thing ever. I think it would be like, it would become kind of like one of those things, like the, the image of my face while that was happening would become synonymous with like rape. You know what I mean? Like anytime, like it would be like, would there be an like emoji? my face, my face with like a, a line through it. Uh huh. It's like, you, you do know, not they, need his big dick. Yeah, you do not need his big dick. And it's just me like, <laughs> I wonder, I wonder how many businesses they have to put that up in. Like, I mean, because technically rape is legal nowhere. Other than, I don't know, like North Korea or something. But, I mean, would Targets have the no Leo the Tavio thing on the door? I think so. I think Targets. <laughs> He's can't rape I think. in Target? <laughs> Absolutely. Where, I thought it we was should, a gray we, area in Target. Wait a second, is that not a video idea? Just passing, just going out, kind of promoting just no rape? <laughs> just in flyers and shit? Want to hang, hang it up at a business? You think we, we could convince a business to hang like a huge don't rape flyer? You should run for city council on that platform. Yeah, like, hey, my... My mission statement's short and sweet. 
Don't rape. You know, if you would have timed it so it was 2017, 18, when you were running, you probably would have gotten elected. Would you ever run for office? Let's say your channel just fucking blows up, right? The crazy levels. And you got like a shot to yeah. maybe win like a little local like councilman kind of position. Something that's like bullshit that you only, you know, you got to go to two meetings a month. Yeah, yeah. But it'll just make the channel so much funnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're a councilman and you'll just use that angle everywhere you go. Like Nico is my <laughs> surrogate. Yeah. He does all my public speaking, <laughs> all my TV interviews. And he never does any of them sober. No, he never, he's <laughs> always hammered. And if we have to film, then Doc Ock goes in. Doc Ock, why are you drinking that horse shit? Drink a blackout. Is, I'm not going to lie. Dude. Shotgun it right now. You, you, want me to, you, want me to, you want a shotgun? You handed this to me, lukewarm, or like room temperature, and I was like, I, and then I'm drinking this room temperature, and I'm liking it. You're I'm like, wow. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to say this. Like, it's good. Are it's, we celebrating, Brooks? You know, know what I mean? It's the again? new studio. New studio, right? I yeah. got, you know, some Doc. Oh, shit. That was a perfect toss. Did everybody get that on camera? I'm getting that one. How did that work? The fuck? Dude, now I gotta do two. Limited amounts of leakage. <laughs> I'm the man. Bryce Hall, remember guys, support, that bad. support Bryce Hall. He has less money than everybody here. All right, here, buddy. He yeah. really needs the show. Bryce Hall, I'm sorry about the whole Keemstar thing, man. Much love to you, brother. Dude, yeah, don't worry. <clears throat> you know, when he was showering after the threesome and, yeah. like, he had just, he had nutted for, like, the eighth time that yeah. day. Yeah, what a king. And then, like, his brand deals just came in for the month. And, I mean, it was kind of a down month. I think it was 186K? Right, 186K. And he popped it on Just from brand side. deals. Just from brand deals that month. Merch exactly. was, like, 200, right, here we go. 400. Right. 400, but... Oh, there it is. That's Get it, good, Doc. That's nice. That's Get good. Get it, Doc. Black Bryce out. Hall. Bryce Hall. Bryce Hall. Hey, I say, yes. I say, I say, you follow it up to be a true legend. I don't know if you want to go um, into into true legendary status, but I, I do believe that if you did another shotgun within the next five minutes, that would be incredible. You know, <laughs> for here, let me give it to me. He does oh. have to drive me. But, accuse you know, Bryce Hall. Of, you? Accuse yeah. Bryce Hall of fucking your girlfriend afterwards. Yeah. Bryce Hall's a pedophile. No, 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 that's not that's not where we wanted to go with it. <laughs> that is not true. Bryce, you know how this goes. You gave us alcohol. Something like that was bound to be said on the podcast. I love you, it's Bryce. It's not true. That I is, love you. If that's not the best endorsement for your You're alcohol, wearing, he's wearing yeah, a hoodie. I didn't say it was wrong. I mean, uh, please, someone clip that and send it to old Brycey. Because, uh, you know, it's it's going to be great. I was at a, 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 Jacob took me to one of his parties one time, dude. It was and not at his house or anything. It was at like a fucking, it was at like a, a club. And it was just like, <laughs> dude, I'm not going to lie. It was just 85% 19 to 22 year olds. Yeah. And uh, him and like 12 buddies. And then mm -hmm. me and Jacob and some other guys trying to get some pussy on the side. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. Was there a parking the guy, lot situation? He, no, not that it? night, okay. but um, <laughs> a couple, you know what I mean? Just kidding. No, yeah, but no, yeah, it was pretty funny just seeing him kind of go you, around. Don't you just like that? Bryce Hall holding court at a party with 12 of his TikTok buddies makes me feel so much better than the fact that at clubs, most of the time on the weekends here, it's like LeBron James and Drake and fucking... Uh, I don't know. Insert name of NFL player. Fuck, who's the receiver? Like, fucking, uh, I don't know. I, no. I would so much rather uh, a metrosexual TikToker mm -hmm. have, I would, I'd rather my girlfriend cheat on me with Bryce Hall or Josh Richards than fucking Anthony Davis from the Lakers. Oh, really, Danny? <laughs> oh, really? That's that's your big... Uh, <laughs> is that, uh, is that, does that go without it's saying? Your, it's your big idea here uh, today. Yeah, no, that goes without saying, dude. I think we're all there, but... You know what, man? If we're being woke about it, pfft, either one, dude. You know what I mean? I don't care. <laughs> like, I would probably let Josh Richards fuck my hypothetical girlfriend, like, for Valentine's Day. I would just be like, sure, yeah, why not? Go for it. Like, it's just, there's no harm. Danny, I guess the, the way to look at it is it's like, you know, uh, unless it's, you, know, you could just let it go as, like, something like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, why, why does it bother you, Anthony Davis, over like a Bryce Hall? <laughs> we have to go deep if we're digging into it a little well, bit. Well, because he, I thought about this. Like, why, why would it be worse if your girlfriend cheats on you with like an NFL player yeah. versus a TikToker? I think it's because if your girlfriend cheats on you with a six foot nine black guy with a 12 inch cock, 
that, that clearly like her type is not you <laughs> mm-hmm. and therefore the relationship is not going to work. You want it to be more physical. Like, Oh, he's just a, he's a, he's a cute, like, uh, you know, on a prince looking prince like guy yeah. that I just want to fuck is, you know, it's, it's more physical with the TikToker. Yeah. It's prince, like, Oh, he's prince? famous, but he basically like he's, he, you know, him and I look like we're, we could be, cousins maybe right exactly it's like you're still attracted to me yeah. whereas like if your girlfriend gets fucked by fucking terrell suggs yeah who i think used to play for the baltimore he just got a big cock it's, named it's, it. terrell yeah. suggs but like if she gets fucked by him like yeah. you are not doing it for her she's like oh my god just, my it, fucking pipsqueak boyfriend come on terrell anthony tear davis, me apart you just run run into anthony davis and he's just like he had hooked up with your chick dude and he just like he's a fan of the channel and like apologizes and shit and then he like kind of admits that it, that's the only reason it happened it, i mean if he was a fan of the channel <laughs> all is forgiven hey man yo, that's all it takes uh, yo that's danny takes. Yo, yo danny man yeah man uh about your girl man i mean something happy you know it is but man i'm a big fan dog I'm a big fan of you, Doug. And you'd be like completely okay with it? Uh, did, yeah, 100%. And that's the best. If dude. any sort of A-list athlete or celebrity fucked my hypothetical girlfriend, but then was like, I'm a huge fan, I'd be like, dude, you, you fucking want to take her on long weekends? <laughs> Labor Day's coming up. How you feeling, Doc? I'm ready to do the other shotgun. How are you liking the alcohol? <laughs> yeah, that's Do, decent. You want to do the other no, shotgun? No, it's good. It's oh, yeah, it's good. It's blacked out. You called him a pedophile. Say it's good. Yeah, that's good. He's not a pedophile. <laughs> I was 18 like, really to be well, fair. how good they are. <laughs> yeah, they are really good, and he's not a pedophile. He's not? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well. I, I mean, Bryce Hall had to expect that fucking a character like Doc Ock would say something like that, right? I mean, that was that had to be expected on the show. I mean, look, if that clip goes viral as the reason <laughs> that Blackout is on the map, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. That's the, that's genius marketing nowadays, Danny. He's wearing the hoodie. I know, I know. It's unbelievable. It's, it's... <laughs> It'd be good marketing. <laughs> that's what Leo yeah. just said. I'm a um, pedophile by, by Blackout. <laughs> Oh, you're a pedophile. No. Uh, I wish, dude. Nah, I don't stop. got money like that. Oh, you it's only for the elite. Well, yeah, I mean Bill Gates. You see that shit Jeff coming Epstein. out about Bill Gates? I mean, I don't know. Is it what do you think? Like that I don't know. That there was a uh, like Epstein made kind of a threat to him like, "Hey, I'll leak some shit. You fuck this one like young Russian chick. Yeah. You sick old man motherfucker." Something like that, you know? He's it's got crazy. charities all over the world, you know, for different, you know, it's like It is crazy that uh, Jeffrey Epstein, I think people theorized that he was basically a blackmail dude. He was the highest profile dude in the government whose function was just to blackmail people with sex scandals. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any evidence of that until this Bill Clinton or excuse me, Bill <laughs> Gates thing came out, though. A scenario, Danny. Let's yeah. say the government. Look, I'm not going to say that we'd kill Epstein's job. But if, if the government wanted us to to get some guys to sleep with some young chicks for, uh, you know, in order to blackmail them. I mean, who better? Yeah. To do it than me and you. I think definitely you, Leo, would be potentially the best underage wingman <laughs> Shut the of fuck all up, time. Dude. Of age, dude. You know what I mean? Of age. But yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yes, yeah. For for Epstein purposes. I mean, if we were working for the government. I don't know about me. I got a little bit too much of a weird, high strong vibe. But I think you and any High level government figure, Bill Clinton. He's done. Oh dude. my God. Dude, I would run oh. circles around Bill Clinton, dude. I'd be like, Bill, look at that girl's ass. <laughs> go, go go get a little lick, dude. It's all good. It's free, dude. It's Listen, all good. Billy, on the deathbed of my Argentinian grandfather, yeah. he said, You know what matters in life, Leandro? Getting pussy. Yeah, dude. So, you know what? This Us. crisis with the Saudis can wait. Yes. And then Bill will be like, oh, shucks, Leandro. I suppose you got a point there. Yeah. And that's when Bill Clinton does something on camera. And you'll have his nuts in a vice for life. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no, yeah, I do I do like one of those things like um, like what I've done in videos where I'd be like, hey, uh, Danny, a uh, chick over there, she wants to make out with you. No, I would just like, I would like wing, yeah, dude, it'd be, it'd be crazy. I could do it. And then um, and one day I'd get assassinated while I'm in jail. Like in a very vicious way Mm-mm. by a guy that knew jujitsu, probably. Probably, yeah, got choked to death. It'd be tough to know that your assassination was imminent. Elon Musk's got bodyguards around him at all times. Let me ask you a question about jujitsu. Yeah. yeah, because that, I mean, do you think, okay, ninja like character yeah. climbs up behind you, knows enough jujitsu? Could you like just strangle Epstein in, in, in his sleep to death? 
Yeah, what are you talking about? So you could easily, yeah. I mean, obviously, no. A guy knows jujitsu. Epstein could be awake. The jujitsu guy would eventually get his back and choke him. Right. Especially so then, in a jail cell. So if he's got a happens. jail cell to contain him. You think the guy had a weapon or? I don't know, dude. I think they probably, a couple of roughnecks walk in there. Epstein is a fucking pencil pushing Jewish guy. Underage chick raping aside. He's basically just a poindexter. Hmm. So yeah, two thug muscle dudes walk in there. It's not going to take much of a fight. They could even cuff him if they really wanted to. Yeah, they could just be like, yeah, we're taking you to an arraignment. They could just lie. And then once he's cuffed, just choke him out. You and I could have done it. Hmm. You and I could have killed Epstein. Hell yeah. It could just be some like basic ginjutsu. Do you something. think Dino and Austin yeah. could have killed him? I don't know about that. <laughs> I yeah. think we were Dr. Together. Ox and Brooke. Which uh, team would be more effective? Doc oh Ock and Brooks to kill Epstein. Right, we got to go through scenarios. This is fucked up, but I mean, we're going to dig deep. All right. Well, we have been working out, you know, so. All right. You I guys choke decently. We, we are looking at the we, chat. We've been choking each other. Uh, I'm almost more <laughs> curious about their workout regimen. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've both been working out. I feel like Jeffrey Epstein would be more attracted to me and Dino, though. So yeah. we could use True. that to our advantage. And he did, work together. he did do some gay shit. That was part of his story is he hooked up with, I think, the guy who owned The Limited. Yeah. Was how he got a lot of his money to begin with. He had a gay relationship with a yeah. super rich gay dude. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah, I think he would like Dino and Austin. I All think right, a, there we go. A little bit of that homosexuals in him. He would let his guard down. Whereas if Brooks and especially Dr. Octopus walked into the cell. Seedy character. He's going to be like, I mean, he hasn't seen somebody like you in probably 20 plus years within five feet of him. Yeah, no, he's completely, this is disturbing to him immediately. No, I'm actually, I feel like I, I kind of look related to him a little bit, so he might be like... You are Jewish. Yeah, he could be like, <laughs> oh, my brother, you know, come back you to the point. island. Like, what oh, would you do? That's <laughs> Armenian, dude. He, he would be asking for like a jailbreak, you know? Yeah. He thought... I, <clears throat> he would just like, it, it would go so bad because uh, Doc Ock would just offer him, like you guys would have this whole plan, it would be like to poison him with a drink and... Doc Ock would just make it way too obvious because he's too fucked up. Like, hey, you should drink this. It'll make you feel real sleepy. <laughs> You're going to love the guy who makes these, man. <laughs> It'll make you feel real sleepy, man. <laughs> Is he on crack? Yeah, he's on crack. Do that impression again. <laughs> It'll make you feel real sleepy, man. Dr. Octopus, how would you go about subduing Jeffrey Epstein? Mm. Fuck, that's a good-ass question. I haven't thought about that. Uh, it's a good ass question. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm a natural Charlie Rose. That's a good ass question, man. <sighs> Probably try to burn him. Okay, that is weird. What, what, with like a like a butane hairspray and a fucking lighter. How would you try to burn him? You just kind of light his bed on fire at night. Yeah. Just with the bick, just ch -ch -ch, and then he blows on it, trying to get it to spread. Yeah, he's like, man, it took forever. <laughs> that is a, that is a strategy that's been used before in some like drug cartel. Like they just burn the whole fucking prison down you know like fuck everyone it's just really just killed that would you be okay with that there. would you be okay with a couple extra casualties if you took out epstein <laughs> yeah they're in prison they all deserve to die therefore yeah come on why would they be in prison doesn't Brooks. that go against what if one of them had like a three parking violations in a row Sucks and he was just so spending the night okay they, they deserve death yeah, they too. deserved it <laughs> all right, brooks doc. what do you give out how long do you give doc ock you know on, on this earth <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, well, you know, honestly, it's it depends on how much uh, we're hitting that sauna. You know? <laughs> okay, you guys, hey, you guys are doing wait. If you guys are hitting the sauna, I'm yeah. proud of you guys. Yeah, we're that's all it we're, takes. Are you on the same sauna. algorithm as me, where it's like fucking a bunch of doctors telling you to hit saunas and uh, no, and, 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 I, and Andrew Tate and fucking David Goggins? That's, that's a that's, weird that's my algorithm, algorithm, bro. No, Why? My <laughs> algorithm's mostly like art time lapse videos, but I feel like the sauna for me. It's just a great way to uh, lose a lot of uh, water weight, you know, cleanse all those demons and just go in there. There's like 10 old Asian ladies just make eye contact for a while and right. just sweat it out. Uh, I, I saw a Jewish man, a Huberman. Is it Dr. Huberman out there? He's like a like this jacked doctor that is, I don't know why he's in my algorithm all the time. I've never followed him. I like how the first thing that comes up is he's a Jewish man. Oh. Brooks, are you okay with that? <laughs> I also, I like how you and especially Dr. Octopus think that the sauna. They think the sauna is going to cure all of their lifestyle. No, oh, yeah. Depression. Well, how do you feel about that? What do you think? Yeah. think I, there's an. I, I mean, it's I, not really. I, I think it's like. <laughs> I think it's like. Um, I don't know. Totaling your car and then buying one of those pine tree air fresheners and being like, "Good as new." It was on. I think it good was good as new. The sauna is not about getting because. I, I didn't even realize how fat I got. So I got married. I was like up to 170 something. I still, I was like. When did you put on the weight? Right after she put right the after, ring on? Yeah, right <laughs> after right after I, I got married. I was like, yep, I just don't care anymore. I thought you were yeah. non-monogamous though. 
Uh, no. Can we take like a two minute break? Oh quick? yeah, Danny, they were really scared because a woman is coming up. There's an inspector to come in and look at something and then come back down. They're really afraid that you're going to say something inappropriate. But if we if we don't say anything inappropriate, it'll be fine. Sex, fuck, dog shit, cunt, cock balls, <laughs> whore. I have a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We won't anymore. There's an inspector <laughs> in the house, Danny, so stop. Oh, Danny, inspect stop. something, can't you, Landry? Danny, stop. Don't have your cock out when the inspector <laughs> comes by. Listen, you should put away your, your penis. <laughs> hey, Doc Ock, seriously, put your penis away. Hey. Look at it. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Like, what the hell's going on? Right. What if Bryce Hall hires Doc Ock as a brand rep? Like, that would be the smartest thing he could ever do. What if he's the <laughs> Verizon guy of Blackout? And and it all started with like the viral clip. <laughs> he's just like Bryce Hall's a pedophile, man. Like he said it like so confidently, like it was like it was the douchiest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. It was like he was certain of it. <laughs> Bryce Hall, Terry <laughs> said that about. Are Bryce. we rolling? We just yes. We, oh, we, we just that need to Bryce, make dude. him the third mic so that he loses nah. his mind. I'm gonna go home. This <laughs> if he's just there, just getting closer to suicide because he's drinking so much, like I don't know. Dude. Hey, this do is it. my first. Hey, so today this podcast is brought to you by Stamps.com. They make it convenient. You no longer have to go to the post office. What has your experience, Dr. Octopus, been with Stamps.com? Oh, I've got a lot of drugs from Stamps.com. <laughs> oh, Very uh, convenient, uh, fast shipping. This is perfect. We really do need him here for reads. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll just come for reads. Right? I thought he what was just going to call the CEO <laughs> of Stamps. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm out. Mario Kart rules. <laughs> um, what, do you, uh, what do you like about ShipStation, one of our most loyal, um, upper, you know, Supporters of the pod. Watch what you say. Yeah. What do you like about dude, them? Cut me off, dude. Three to five day shipping priority. Any price. Okay. I don't know. Uh, dude, wow. what, what ship station? Wow. I was not expecting that angle. <laughs> we gotta keep our rep cool. Got you became Randy station. Macho Man Savage, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? So how are things going as far as your lifestyle and your girl? Because I remember you and I in the Danny Mullen Goes to Planned Parenthood video. We hung out a little bit at the end. I checked out your room. You confess to drinking an alarming amount of alcohol every day. Yeah, I cut down on the alcohol, unfortunately. How much did you cut down on the alcohol, <laughs> Mr. Guy with three empties and a tall can in your hand right now? That's you. But it's not uh, me. <laughs> you have three empty blackouts at your feet Dude. and an open tall can that you're working on. These are 6% too. Ugh. Um, How have you cut down? It's an occasion though. But mainly just like one tall can a day. I do not believe that for a second. Well, my eyes tell me that's not true, but um, is that it, true, Brooks? It is surprisingly true, but at the same time, he, it's because he's just you've been fucking way more. Yeah, know? I've been having a lot of sex. His, his sex drive has gone out is out of control. You know, With where did chick? it come from? Yeah, Sorry. Ashwagandha. No, I would hope it was it's chick. the sauna in ashwagandha. You just really the, the secrets in this. If you've ever had ashwagandha, you just eat the ashwagandha gummies. Go to the sauna for like fifteen minutes. You're there. All right. Well, listen, Hard, dude. You know Hard. who used to do that? Hmm? Cigar guy. Yeah, Ashwagandha? He did. Yeah, every day. Was he hard? <laughs> he would get he was known to get hard with a couple of D pills. Oh, yeah, speaking of, sucked up by speaking of that, I have yeah, a little yeah. surprise, little ho a housewarming gift that I wanted to present to Dino. Dude, if it's no. cigar guy's foreskin. <laughs> What is that? Tell us about this artifact. Oh, that went yeah. up Petron's ass. He's got an obelisk. Brooks has a metal obelisk. It's about uh, it's three from, and a half inches tall. It's from Detron's attic. Um, oh, God. This so. real, Detron, uh, he, he loves this obelisk here. I wanted to give it to you, Dino. Dino used to do painting around the, in my studio. We would hang out. And then one day he saw this fucking thing and he just never came back. You know, it's true. Evil, bro. <laughs> So Dino, so Dino thinks this is evil. Do you think the spirit of homosexuality lurks in that artifact? It's a gay ass. Look at it. It looks like a penis. <laughs> All right, time so, out. So George Washington is gay because he has an obelisk for a monument? He is the gay. father of our country is gay. Dude, it looks exactly like that. And you're, you're saying that, yeah, that's a very American, uh, you know, to, it's, a, it's an American well, symbol, it, well, basically. It, the Egyptians, really, are the ones who started it. Homosexuality yeah, and witchcraft are Dino's two least favorite things, probably, so... Yeah, that's a wombo combo. Dino, if this I could have been a butt plug, Danny. Sorry. Um, yeah, I probably was. Yeah. Dino, what would you do? What would you do 
to avoid having to lick Detron's asshole. Fucking anything. Dino says fucking anything. What Would you, you quit marijuana um, and uh, go study... Um, Satanism. Yeah. Satanism every day for the rest of your life. Would you denounce Jesus Christ in order to avoid licking his asshole? Nah, I wouldn't do that. Like, <laughs> you would lick his asshole? You're gay. Yeah, you would lick his asshole. Right, uh, you, you, you wouldn't have to do anything, but once a week you would have to ex- <laughs> expose yourself to a family. Just okay, yeah. a at, new family every week. Every, a new family every week, and that would be at the mall. And just yes. hope none of them press charges. Right, but it has to be at the same mall, so it becomes like as soon as you walk into the mall, every security guard's like, he's fucking here. And, and he, you know what he's going to do. And the no, mall. The, the security guards are like, hey, yo, that kid's back. He's going to go. Right, hey, right, come yeah. on, guys. Uh, they, and, they just d- d- try to stop it. It's also a small outlet mall in Chino Hills <laughs> that is this close <laughs> to going out of business. Oh, absolutely. I it's You, you, you would do it. Thought. Dude, you'd have to go there once a week. What happens when he goes to prison, though? Oh, How does man. he have to, like, no, I mean, if he yeah. goes to prison? I mean, he's probably going to have to, like, other black dudes' assholes in prison. He would have to just get, get, never get caught. He would have to be just, he would have to, I feel like he would have to train like with a ninja some for yeah. a long time before doing it. The League of Shadows from the first Batman. Exactly, the League of Shadows. He would have to know every fighting uh, <laughs> style in the world and you'd have to be like a philosopher because you would have to be in and out of that mall so quick. He'd have to be a philosopher. You, If you didn't know Plato, you would definitely get caught. Yeah. I think he'd have to be a master of disguise too. Oh yeah, comes in there with a the different disguise and there's, there's like, yeah, like that. There's meetings about him every week on Monday. Like, does anybody have an idea what the flesher might look like? Mm-hmm. And there's just a bunch of different drawings. And like, they're like, dude, that one, they're they're so different. Who is this guy? And they're way off. God damn it. Yeah, they're way off. There's they're a little, off. he can make himself look like a little Asian man. He could yeah. be an obese truck driver. Right. Leo, is he allowed to do it from a car or does he have to go in through the doors? He has to go in through the doors, but there's no rule. It has to be a door. He has to be inside so he can climb through a window. He can climb through a fire escape. Nice. He can climb through the the, the roof if there's an opening. Is he, it true? He drops in. He has tools. He has like, he like comes in like Mission Impossible. You know what I mean? He's yeah, got, yeah. He's got a repeller, a repel system. He can repel whatever. in. Yeah, repels in. Is it true that every leap year he has to expose himself in the candy shop? Yes. So that I is that. that is what, that's how they, every year... There is a an intense um, kind of like meeting about the candy shop day yeah. because everyone knows that this year he's doing it again and they still can't catch him because it, that is when he really focuses on the uh, on the on the whole disguise even more. Of course, he goes in there. He somehow miraculously makes himself look like a prepubescent ten year old with a lollipop. <laughs> but then that big hog yeah. comes out. He can't yeah. disguise that thing. Right. He can't disguise that thing. So, Doctor Octopus, how you feeling? I Any just guilt? want to say Bryce Hall is not a pedophile. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure those clips are. It's not as if Bryce Hall is going to watch the podcast, <laughs> see himself get called a pedophile, and be like, yeah. "Oh fuck this guy, dang it!" Yeah. But then stay tuned for another 45 minutes for the apology. Uh, I think the damage I was would, probably done earlier. Yeah, I would love he it as a pedophile. I would love it though if for <laughs> dude. Oh He's my not. god! Stop! No, I would love it if he for like his own channel was like <laughs> suing a guy that called me a pedophile, <laughs> and it just just reams you for everything you got, dude. dude. So like a a bag full of empty cores cans, couple of con- <laughs> couple of Converse, yeah. Uh, some some pit vipers, <laughs> some pit vipers that he probably stole from Leo. Yeah, they look yeah, exactly like the ones I used to have. One uh, twenty not. gallon garbage bag full of empties. Yeah. <laughs> what if he oh, he'll call it square, but he has to fuck your girlfriend? Can I fuck his? No. You called well, him a pedophile. <laughs> you, yeah, you called him a pedophile. You smeared him. He has to. He has to. It's Bryce Hall, <laughs> dude. Come on. He has to it's, teabag you with his balls. Wait, who's Bryce Hall? <laughs> I guess it's a good thing you don't know who he is. I have no idea. Clearly, it's not personal. <laughs> I don't know. It's not personal, Danny. It's not. Is he a black guy? Black. Sure, yeah, he's a black guy. All right, well, then no. He's white. <laughs> then no what? You can't fuck my girlfriend. Okay, I get it. See, that's, Danny, would you, you would also feel uncomfortable with Anthony Davis fucking your chick. Yeah, I do. Anybody yeah, because anybody would. Danny, yeah, anybody yeah, would. Why, anybody why not? Would. I don't know about that. Do you know? Even Shaq would fucking be like, damn, dog, you know? What about, I wonder if Danny D would be uncomfortable with that. Because he has such a big penis? Yeah, he's got a, like a 10-inch cock. St- is this about a penis thing again? Well, I'm just wondering. I, I mean, I think that's why, uh, we, we already talked about it once. Dr. Octopus, how is the love life going with your girlfriend? 
I've been having a lot of sex. Um, been trying new positions out. Like what? Missionary, dog <laughs> ear, uh, 69ing. Wow, you're a real you're sexual trying, pioneer. You're trying the first three that most people try because, <laughs> because that is like the third thing. It's like it's like the first time you have sex, it's like, we should do it missionary. And then you're like, oh my God, maybe second round we could do like doggy. And then and then you're like, this is crazy, but I fuck it. I've always wanted to try 69. Should we try that? <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck girls for hating on 69. Like, it's not for you. All right. It's for the boys. Okay. Why? You like having that asshole right in your face? No. You sound like a rat. It's tick. like if I'm going to eat it's your pussy. It's for the boys, 69, rat pussy style. <laughs> it's like if I'm going to eat your pussy, you might as well suck my dick at the same time. Well, you're a you know gentleman, what I'm saying? Austin. Jesus like, Christ. We are just. I, it's not that I don't mind eating pussy, but it, there's this <laughs> thing where girls make fun of guys. For 69ing, and it's like, okay, well, I got your pussy in front of my face, so it's gonna help me come oh when you're God. sucking my dick. How many like, pussies? Like, how, how many, many, uh, uh, awesome. how many pussies do you 69? think that you've eaten out? Be know. honest, dude. How many pussies have you eaten out? I, I, I've I, eaten out a lot of pussy, bro. Uh, Austin, I'm gonna be honest. Anybody who comes <laughs> during 69 is probably a sociopath. <laughs> well, I mean, do you think you're gonna come more doing 69 or just a normal blowjob? Probably a normal blowjob. Yeah, I think the, the chick doesn't have a lot of you know, like. You know, there's not like no balance with sixty nine. You it's know, just what I mean? it's also just the kinda, angle, the tongue from one side is a little from, bit rougher. It's not yeah. even yeah. that I front, really like, like you it. want you if you have the the rougher part of the tongue on the front yeah. of the head of your shit. It doesn't really. It's not as good of a feeling. Like you want it's the just, tongue. It's a around physics it. thing. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it is a physics. It's a thing, physics. Yeah. It's a it's it's a mathematical angles don't match up. It's just. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck comes from. But okay, I, it would you like rather, would had you rather eat something. pussy uh -huh. or eat pussy while getting your dick sucked? He's getting drunk. He's getting <laughs> drunk off the blackout. <laughs> That's How what many I'm saying, bro. Are you blocked out? of Bryce Hall here. It, it's like you're eating pussy while you're getting your dick sucked at the oh same time. Here's what I'll say. I think 69 is a pit stop. I think it's like when you drive to Vegas, you always pull into Baker to get some alien fresh jerky to refill at the AM PM. 69 is the Baker pullout. Okay, you are not, nobody goes to 69 and then finishes there. A blowjob, though, can oftentimes be the destination. Sometimes a girl will suck your dick just to suck your dick and let yeah. you finish. But if you're 69ing, you're probably about to fuck. Because yeah. that means you're both totally naked. She's aroused. She's getting her pussy eaten. And if you're eating a chick's pussy, you're going to fuck her. Like, whoever eats a girl's pussy, and that's the end of the road. Amen. Well, it's a girlfriend thing, I think. <laughs> like, you get bored. You might as well try some different shit out. I don't think. I think maybe maybe you should go out. And, I don't like, think you should sixty nine with a then. random <laughs> fucking chick and be like, "Yo, can you want to sit on top of me?" Nah. Listen, dude. I hope that your pussy numbers go up, dude. And we're gonna have like, we're gonna have girls right here, and your room is just a stone's kick away, dude. Uh, Not on even Tinder, a throw. Though, I have used the "Do you want to sit on my face?" line, and it does work. It's not that uh, I always let them, but which, I, which I was make, more effective, that or the I heard fat bitches give good head. <laughs> no, I, what I found it works the best. He used is, to send that to is chicks. you are stunning. No, I sent that to one chick because stunning. she was fat, and you got kicked off Tinder, <laughs> and I got kicked off permanently. I had only ever sent that one time. So, what's the best dating app these days? Uh, I'm banned on Tinder, so I'd probably say Tinder because that's where all like the just the sluttiest chicks. What if at. what if you're not looking for the sluttiest Ow. chicks? Bumble, in Bumble. Or Hinge, Hinge or Bumble are good if you're looking for like girls. You want that are just what you want is Raya. Shy. You want Raya, Danny. Why don't you what get on Raya? Mm. Raya, you know about you don't know about Raya. I know about Raya. Raya. Lenochi found his smoking hot girl off. Yeah, Raya, yeah. right? He did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I uh, I don't think they'd let me in for the the you know. The, yeah. the old news is section. It, an elitist thing? <laughs> it is like an yeah. I have no clue how I was able to get on it. I literally oh, if Brooks is in, I'm in. Exactly, that's what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. You would you yeah. would definitely be able to. What yeah, if Doc Ock got on? Dude. I am on. No, you're not. I'm not Raya, Raya bro. <laughs> I wish. You got but a girl. I'm man. saying that you could. If I could do it, you, it is a possibility that anyone in this room could do it. Honestly, well, so, I don't know yeah. about that. But then they also charge like a subscription fee, so I'm like, fuck. I mean, I, yeah. you're being followed by some pretty credible people on social media. Nah, maybe that's I, I mean, it. Dino's got like an alt right fucking anime characters and as some avatar. Porn stars. <laughs> you should pay for the blue check. Oh, I thought dude. you meant okay. following. The what? Right. You should pay for the blue check. No, that's fucking gay. The blue check. I did that shit. No. We already <laughs> talked about it, dude. It's we had a good riff on it a couple podcasts yeah. ago. It is so whack that they democratized the blue yeah, check. Yeah, they yeah, gave they stole all my power away, basically. Yeah. I just now when I it, it's just like whatever, man. I'm powerless, yeah. man. I just 
I mean, it used to mean something because when yeah. you used to like check your followers and a blue check followed you, like a couple times it happened to me. I was like, oh, like one time it was the punter for the Pittsburgh Steelers. If, oh. the and I was like, this kicks ass. That, okay, look, that's something that we we got to, we should like try to talk about that, but in a way that people can understand that never go th- to have that happen. But it is pretty cool to have like a famous dude, like when A Rod followed me and I see the blue check and I'm like, what? The real Mike O'Hearn follows yeah. you, man. That's my, the most uh, important thing. Mike O'Hearn, dude. Mike dude Mike O'Hearn. It's easy to get him to follow you. Just go in his comments, and I would just hype him up, dude. I'd be like, damn, dog, looking good for 52, Mike. Who is that? You're the man. He's like a, he's, the, I don't know. He's, he's, he's too famous now. He's not going to do that anymore. You hit him at the right time. Body yeah, I don't, he's an dude, A's he, bodybuilder. He's an A's bodybuilder. You haven't seen that. You haven't seen all the memes. He's a freak of nature. He's a freak of nature kind of bodybuilder. He's a bodybuilder that like still, for some reason, looks like he did at like 30 and he's like he's a tr- he's a trend sexual he's a trend sexual so like no he does a bunch not. of trend but he identifies trend as sexual he yeah. identifies as natty you know <laughs> he, he does he that does was make the <laughs> shittiest joke <laughs> Did that you was, just make that up right now? You became no. such a bro. Like you, you were, you guys worked out for two months, and you're coming back just fucking being like he's, fi- he's bro, fucking I'm down, fake natty, I'm down dude. Clean. <laughs> fucking fake natty. Yeah, that was the people joke. do. People think I'm on trend when I get fucking jacked. Yeah. L- like a wide receiver on a high school football team would make that joke. I would have <laughs> exactly. never thought that Brooks Cosover would make that joke. Why don't yeah. you start using steroids, Leo? It's not like you have a reputation. Austin's drunk. Matters. Austin like, is <laughs> absolutely drunk. Well, I mean, like it's not like Leo is this ex like star athlete or whatever. Like no one would judge you if you took some trend. I, have nah, I, uh, I think uh, I uh, I love my my hair. Uh, my hair. I have uh, one of the greatest heads of hair in the in the universe. That's so, no, uh, that's you know. no oh, transplant. That's natural. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to uh, fuck with that. So anytime you you use hormones and shit like that, um, you can fuck your shit up. But you know the way to really just keep your testosterone at high levels, you got to do a lot of leg days. You know what I mean? So I've been, yeah. um, as I get older, I have to focus more on that. But my testosterone has always been almost too much as it is. I'm just mm-hmm. a horny bastard. Oh so I'm okay. God. You too, Danny, right? I mean, are, you think you have a lot of extra testosterone? Uh, I, I don't think I'm as bad as you, or maybe mm. I am more comfortable with the idea of shooting my excess testosterone into some tissue paper yeah. versus into the back of a young girl's throat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I do think that Leo on steroids maybe would be wanted by the LAPD. Yeah. yeah. For something I bad. Think, I think, yeah. I think like, let me think like somebody, I don't know. I could crack somebody in the back of the head in line or something. Because you get that ro- like roid, roid rage, rage is real. Dude, it's real. Dude, you on that it, was a guy, rage, it was the funniest thing because it was a guy on our team in Summer Ball, and we called him Roid Rage, and he would get fucking insanely pissed at that. So he'd Roid Rage when we'd call him Roid Rage. Like, who gets upset at that? It yeah. was crazy. It was not a, a thing that you should do if you have any sort of bad mental health that you could lose your mind. Yeah. If Leo had got on steroids, his car, first of all, looks like the ultimate steroid bro car. <laughs> yeah. The Challenger. Yeah. I can see you. He would be running from the cops, OJ style, oh. with his swollen biceps yeah, out dude, the window just, holding the top of the car. Just right, just <laughs> oh, like two times the size. Just, holding the top of the car. Oh. 160 down the freeway. It'd be like a meme, dude. It'd be like a meme. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I think I would do. I would. Okay, I'll tell you what would happen. You guys ever see that movie with uh, Mark Wahlberg and The Rock? What's it called? The the one with the the juice the monk the the juice heads. Yeah. They they try to to rob, they extort that guy and they st- steal a bunch of money from like a nerdy dude. That's probably what I would do. I would team up with other juice heads and just make a guy sign away all his money. That's what they, they forced a guy. It's a true story to sign away all his money. Forgot what it was. What's it called? What it, what it's called. Mm. They were in multiple movies together, huh? Yeah, they've done a bunch of movies. Oh, yeah. It's a good team, it's dog. A, it's a power duo. Leo, stay away from the steroids. I agree that'd be bad. For Leo's comedic brand, too, it would be tough. Because, like, I mean, a lot of Leo and I go back and forth. Like, he's like, oh, you sick son of a bitch. And I'm like, ah, oh, you dumb guinea. Mm. One of those times we'd be like, what'd you say? Yeah. I just I have a huge brawl with him like on the pod like it just mm. <laughs> it's like when Peter Griffin would fight the chicken dude it just goes yeah. all over the pod like Austin films it all and it's the greatest I mean the episode just shoots through the roof <laughs> I mean what are they gonna do you think Dino's gonna intervene if you and I started fighting <laughs> no next week I have like I have my, my hand if, if in the cast like UFC like 
like Khabib, Conor McGregor, like who, who like against one another. I wonder who would really come. I would, I him. would win if it was full MMA rules. Okay. But you already saw his box, and yeah. they got the better but, of the yeah, boxing. But, you know, boxing weight low, the weight different. limit in boxing is like that's it's, it's such so important. You know, right? It really means a lot. Well, would you? It would, you would be like what, like a welterweight or something, or like you'd be less than that. Heavyweight? I don't you'd know boxing weight classes. I'm pretty lightweight? light though. Now you're what one seventy five? One seventy five. Yeah, you'd be like cruiserweight. Okay. I like that cruiser yeah, yeah. or yeah, yeah. cruiser with cruiser. What affects or your super ability? Middleweight maybe what affects your ability to like take a punch? Because I know like a bigger guy that weighs like three hundred pounds, he can take a punch in the face from another guy that's like three hundred pounds. It's it, and then uh, somebody not really. else that nah, weighs the heavyweights. Nothing. The heavyweights. It's a completely different division than Deontay Wilder. Started boxing at twenty. That the, one of the, the the best heavyweights out there. He's like third in in the rankings, and he started boxing at twenty. And all he has is just a massively strong right hand. Mm. Everything else is just wild. But all he has to do is hit you with that hand anywhere near like your your kind of head. Like it can, even if it's just off your shoulder into the top of your head, you'll wobble so much that he'll just then catch you with another one. So he's that strong at heavyweight because he's a big guy, two hundred thirty pounds. The, can one of the skinny guys that's no. really good at fighting knock out if a heavy they guy? Got a good punch in, like would he? Does his chin just strong? Yes. Like I mean, hypothetically, hypothetically, but right. Bruce I mean, Lee. What about like how would he do? In, in well, <laughs> right. Let's break this down. First of all, heavyweights <laughs> knock each other out all the time. All right? the time, right? So he has. He's only three guys have ever gone the distance with this guy. Heavy ever. on heavy works, but dude, th think about it. This is going to be an extreme example, but if your little sister, I know you don't have one, but if one of Dr. Octopus's lovers hauled off and tried to punch, uh, that was, maybe I should say one of Bryce Hall's <laughs> lovers. But if a little fucking kid hit you in the face as hard as they could, it wouldn't do anything to you, right? I know that's an extreme example, but that general principle of them weighing less than you and being able to get less force behind their punch and you being a big grounded individual with a thick neck and a giant head that's where they lose power to knock you out. And eventually, within one weight class or two weight classes, probably they can still knock you out. But when Conor McGregor fought Nate Diaz, that was one of the problems, because Nate was like fucking a true welterweight, right. and Conor hey. was like a 145er. Conor hit him with all of his best shots, and Nate just didn't budge. He just ate him. Just the guy ate that, it. The guy, who's the guy that beat Conor the last two times? Uh, that's Dustin the Poirier. Cowboy, Doesn't he just cowboy. look way bigger than than him too? Is he bigger than Connor? I don't know. No, I think that I think that uh, he's. You just said uh, cowboy beat Connor, so I'm gonna <laughs> doubt whatever you say next. I thought that that he was the cowboy. No, no, no. that's the diamond. Poor yet. No, then I guess the I'm diamond is not now. the cowboy, dude. You're listen. Cowboy. We're working on your bronus, dude. I, I love watch. <laughs> I only watch sumo. <laughs> okay, I don't watch you. You watch sumo? I love sumo. No weight classes, man. <laughs> do it, dude. Do Brooks, bro, right now. Brooks, dude. I'm fucking bro, Brooks. Listen, you want me to paint you something? I'll paint it with my jizz, <laughs> bitch. Nah, man. You guys got to get it turned on to sumo. I'm telling you, sumo it's, wrestling. It is actually. I've watched way Aki more. Bono, bro, demolish people. He's the greatest. He was I, Hawaiian. I think they do the yeah, national he's, championships uh, he, here in LA. Y'all should go for uh, the video. That would be unbelievable, dude. We got to enter Swolby as a mini sumo wrestler. Oh, yeah. I, know, I just want to get him. I, I want to get him so Swolby, two sumo I think wrestlers would crush really, him. No, What's no, up? no. I'm telling you, I think Swolby would be great because there are people like uh one of the greatest sumo wrestlers he's actually doing really bad in the main tournament but inho mm. he's like i super hate that you know the tournaments <laughs> <laughs> continue uh he's he's really small but he yeah. they're like smaller sumo wrestlers they use that to their advantage weight classes like, are there weight there's classes? no weight classes that's there's why no way to compete, dude. no that's what i'm saying it's called henka this is gonna be which great. is a form of sumo that short people will use uh, they use big <laughs> sumo like if you if you could be weighing like you know six hundred pounds and you can get beaten by a small dude just because he knows how to use your weight against you, it's it's pretty crazy. I'm this telling you, crazy. look up Inho, watch his battles against some people. Battles. Some, so Swolby in a in a sumo wrestling contest would be incredible. Well, let's talk about Swolby because before he gets the thong and he starts eating a lot, he has got to cope with the realities of living outside the household of Jim H. Chang. Absolutely, <laughs> and that is, I mean. Great for our boy Jamie Chang. And it's great. I I am looking forward to what he, no doubt, is going to be doing to a special lady, Danny. Huh? So for anybody who didn't see the main channel video, we went and we visited Swolby's house. It was a video called uh, "Picking Up Girls with Funny Faces." We learned that Swolby lives with his mother, Swolby's biological mother, and Swolby's stepfather. Mm. 
Oh, nice. We're going to have to deal with that. Hello, Amazon's here. I guess, dude, if that happens, Danny, we, ha- we have to be allotted something in or some form of punishment to Dino. Absolutely. What do you think? Because half the time it's going to be Postmates. He's going to be ordering a single bag of Takis from Postmates, yeah. eating the delivery charge and the tip for yeah. just one fucking bag. So yeah, Leo, I think absolutely we should come up with something. But first of all, let's finish up our Jim H. Chang sure. thing. Because, yes, Swolby was living in the household with this, this powerful stepfather, Jim H. Chang, who uh, he lived in a beautiful three-bedroom penthouse, big view of Long Beach, uh, a powerful guy. You know, sort of a, an Asian Donald Trump. And this guy yeah. had an insatiable sexual appetite, which he mm-hmm. liked to exercise on Swolby's beloved mother. Right. Let's do a little role play right now of what mm-hmm. their house might be like, uh, minus Swolby. Oh, God. Um, oh, for I, Jimmy Chang, Danny, would you like me to use the Asian accent that I do? Or is that, <laughs> yes, yes. Is that you know, too uh, much? Yeah, or, well, I mean, hey, you know, you're you're hopped up off the blackout. Oh, so yeah, man. Hey, I'm drunk. <laughs> Hold hey, the your right. hand while you do it. All right, go ahead. Oh, Jimmy, I heard that doorbell <sighs> ring a little while ago. Oh, I didn't know you were home from work so early. Oh, 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 oh. I am so excited to get the little bastard outside of the house. <laughs> oh, my God. He was such a nuisance. Up there making oh. his beats and doing push-ups. He looking like a mighty mouse to me. He was... <laughs> That's supposed to be. He <laughs> looking like a mighty mouse to me. <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever uh, see him naked? Or I <laughs> uh, see him naked. <laughs> naked. He have a, a penis mouse like my cousin. Oh, we used to <laughs> make fun of a lot in the locker room when we were playing cricket. Remember that time? Remember that time on his birthday when that where he came home drunk? And remember what you did to me over his passed out body? Oh, <laughs> just to teach him a lesson. That, that was uh, hopefully something my ancestors did to me too. <laughs> I fuck you, doggy style, using him as the base, uh, so that I have a more thrusting power. It was very, very effective. And then you you finished in his hair that night. Oh my God. I <laughs> I decided to uh, finish in the little fucker hair. <laughs> no. Okay, dude, I get, this is fucking. Well, up, you dude. brought him sushi that night for his birthday. What did you do to the sushi before it? <laughs> I give him a box of sushi and I uh, make sure to uh, put him. Uh, my pubic hair in uh, the sushi. <laughs> you know, some people would say that's cruelty toward your own adopted son, but boy, I just love the shit out of you. Come over here. Give it to me good, Jimmy. Oh, um, you better be ready. <laughs> <laughs> right, You're going to use Swoby's bed now that he's gone. <laughs> oh, dude. There were a couple times during that role play where I'm not sure what you were saying, Jimmy H. Chang, but I was yeah, dying dude. laughing just the same. <laughs> It sounded, I could sense the passion. I could sense the passion you had dude, and I, the hatred you had for Swolby. Whoa, dude, I was just Jimmy Chang for a while, dude. It's frustrating, man. You have like a, a hot Latina. You got that thing. He hangs her upside down on, remember, in his, in his room? Oh, yeah, the inversion well, that board. That thing was in his room in a weird spot right in front of the mirror, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got anyway, one now, too, and let me say, I've put it to use. Really? Uh, well, just stretch my back out. <laughs> Certainly not in the way that Jim H. Chang puts it to use. Yeah. Well... Brooks, um, how's married life? Yeah, dude, that's exactly where I was going because uh, we, I, I don't know, all of this makes me well, think. Well, yeah, about no, that. I was saying at first, like when we did that fucking, when we did that video in the desert, I didn't realize I weighed 172 pounds. I just put on this weight and I didn't realize. Now I'm down to 152. So that's a pretty big, that's great. Plus. 20 I, pounds. It's almost, you can't even really tell that much, but. Deep down, it means a lot to me. I feel happy, healthy. I'm not doing a bunch of drugs and going psycho mode, which there's definitely been times in the past where that has been an issue. So yeah, sure. it's been it's been good. the The main thing is time. When the cigar guy took advantage of that situation. Remember that? Like when he like went to the uh, hospital to take advantage of that situation. Oh, dude, I, we don't need to talk That's not about what all happened, this. bro. Yeah, yeah. I went with cigar guy. I guy. was too. Insecure. I, we don't need to talk I don't, about it. No, we're not. Sorry. For I that. told Cigar Guy to go. We don't need to talk about in, it. Austin, Austin's on, he's on a he's a runaway train right now. I know. He's, it's true. I just <laughs> want to defend him because it was my idea to send him into Brooks's room because I just didn't want to talk to the hospital people. Originally, it was supposed to be me that went into the room, and I told Cigar Guy to do it. 
It like wasn't his fault. Guy. The main thing is that I just didn't like that I wouldn't have let anyone in there that other than my brother. But he said, but they said that your brother's here, and he told them that he was my brother. Yeah, but so, he just did that because of the COVID regulations. He wasn't trying to like trick you. Well, that's how it came off. They but said anyway, no friends, a, only family. He goes, oh, well, I wouldn't have brother. let anyone in there other Blacked than my little out. brother Hunter. But at the same time, we don't need to rehash all. I, we stuff. wish him well. We're, yeah, I hope he comes back. I hope he comes back. Honestly, I oh, maybe we all do. Would I, for, I would forgive Cigar Guy if he just admitted to what he did and and was like, yeah. Yeah, but I, uh, yeah, he I, also. I, I mean, I, he, I mean, honestly, he was so good for the channel. I, I, I think that I have a lot of like insight into just like. I mean, I don't fucking, I don't know who he actually was, but if he, you know, I, I'm married now. I'm just kind of hanging out, painting, doing my thing. I feel like he'd be great content for the channel if he did ever come back. Cigar I guy would yeah. be, it would be dope. I mean, I would obviously no, no doubt have him and, uh, and what is and, and the boy, you know, the guy you hooked up with, uh, on the, cu- on the couch, first podcast. Back. Detron. Detron. Yeah, Detron, yeah. yeah, dude. Like uh, I, you could criticize cigar guy for a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. But it's just with that one night, me and Cigar Guy, we were calling we every it. single hospital the it. whole night. We it wasn't it. like he was fucking being psychotic. We were just no, worried about we get Brooks. It. I mean, Brooks is just, he doesn't give Cigar Guy the benefit of the doubt because Cigar Guy did try to have sex with Brooks's now wife. But remember, we were at your house like all night long I get calling you. hospitals. No, no. So what we're talking about is, I, I get it. But Brooks is obviously, he has a colored perception of Cigar Guy and rightfully so because Cigar Guy did some fucked up shit to Brooks. Yeah, we can move yeah, on. Yeah. Even even if Cigar Guy was innocent in that case, he wasn't innocent of trying to have sex with Brooks's woman. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, I if if he would just like, you know, if he wants to come back, then I say he should, you know. So I'll put that out there. All right. I'll, for me at this point, really, I'm just focused on like my painting and just. You know, I'm not the crazy psychopath, like, do get fucked up and, mm-hmm. like, hang out with bitches kind of person that I was. <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to go, I'm not wait, trying wait, to go, wait. like, you know. You, like, you just said off mic that you're going, or was it on mic? You said you're going to the Queen Mary to, quote, fuck another couple. Well, fuck another, you, what, but yeah, but it's not like. You're going to be sober a, that but, night? No, well, yeah, probably, actually. Are but they the going to, I mean, are you going to watch your is, wife? This is a swinger lifestyle thing. It's different than, like hanging out with a bunch of like crazy bitches and then like doing drugs and you know just the sex cult. Knows. it's different than a sex cult yeah this is like a you know how how are you going to keep like be, being with the exact same person for the rest of your life interesting fuck a bunch of other bitches let her get fucked by other dudes while you fuck their bitches it's just like how you make it if you're not a jealous person and you can get down with that then you're going to be happy the rest of your are life you, because are you taking dick pills or you'll be no <laughs> no I'm great I, <laughs> the thing with me is I don't even need to be fully hard to come i've like i but i can also last like a long time but i've got good dick control you know? he does yeah. i've seen it in action oh, i've yeah. seen him come all over italia oh. so brooks what are the pros and cons of married life when you look back on the sex cult days when you mm. had a bunch of hot like 19 year old girls at your beck and call you were getting shit faced with churdlies yeah. banging them out in an apartment in hollywood yeah. what was better <laughs> and worse about that versus your lifestyle now well i feel as though um in a way that felt as though uh, it was it was good times, but it felt like I was in the sort of like weird sunset of my youth, attempting desperately to cling on to a time in my life that had you know was towards the end of where you know of going crazy, partying in your twenties. Now it's gotten to this point where I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm this like grown up responsible. I'm still like I still have my shortcomings, but at the same time, I feel as though. Just taking responsibility, being married, like having, um, you know, things in my life that I take more seriously. It makes me a happier, more fulfilled person. Whereas before I was trying, it was like, what's the next thing? How am I going to fulfill? How am I going to fill this empty void? Sex, drugs, like whatever, you know, I I just want to like, I I wanted to find a way to fill something, but it was never enough. You know, it's like you get. You you fuck all. You're surrounded by bitches and drugs and you know whatever. And it makes you feel like, worse a lot too. It kind of the next day. Mm. That's the the post nut clarity. The like the just like looking at yourself in the mirror late at night, like coming down off some like crazy shit, and you're just like, bro, what's the point of it anymore? Yeah, you know, you're stinking the, like yeah. a fish market. But dude, now if I like dirty. if I'm having <laughs> if it's I way have worse some, if she was dirty, right? Yeah. If I have some like self doubt now, or if I feel like. I'm in a dark place and I have like someone next to me that it was always there for me. 
and someone who's just like, you know, I know truly loves me, which is Fuck. good. It's a good feeling to have. You know, it's, you can't really get that with a girlfriend because it's yeah. like you haven't taken that full on commitment, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, then again, marriages crumble all the Fuck fucking yeah. time, yeah. too. But <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. Hey, more for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the, two yeah guys, the two guys who uh, haven't accepted that they're desperately trying to live out their youth still. Yeah, I know. While at <laughs> the twilight of their fucking yeah, I know. physical attractiveness. I think, you know, I wouldn't say twilight. I'd, I'd say we're right in the middle of it. I'll tell you why. I, I look at the top, the top attractive dudes out there. Um, they can remain attractive until they're about 55 ish. Are you trying yeah. to convince us or you, man? And, and also, the, and, 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 me, who are you I'm, talking about? You're talking about like John Hamm, A Rod, Brad, Jason Brad Statham. Pitt, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, those guys who were uh, world famous, <laughs> multi, multi hundred millionaire movie stars. Dude, uh, you it's know awesome. that there's a real estate guy swinging so much cock. Being like 50 years old. There's a 50 year old real estate guy just fucking banging everyone, dude. In my yeah. opinion. Yeah. I mean, guys absolutely can get pussy for a long time. Yeah. But I agree with Brooks. The question is, how long do you want to? I used to listen to this guy who said that everything in life comes in stages. You play with G.I. Joe's when you're 13. And then once I you turn 15 Joe. or 16, you turn to alcohol and chicks. That lasts 15 or so years, longer for people whose names start with L. And <laughs> uh, it's trauma, it's trauma. But then eventually getting drunk and chasing chicks becomes G.I. Joe's. Mm. It gets boring. And especially yeah. like I, I've had situations like this in the past where like if you hook up with a chick just to hook up with her, it becomes it's not even like you get a little bit of a serotonin boost. It's like a, it's a negative thing. Like it's now you have to deal with the anxiety of being like, Jesus, I just tricked this chick into making me think I liked her over the course of a couple of dates just to fuck her. And now that I fucked her, I have like this work to do to let her down easy. And I'm going to feel something in my heart that's negative about um, basically deceiving another person and making them like me and then hurting them by telling them, actually, that was all a joke. Don't yeah. text me anymore. That's you just got to tell I, them you're gay after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's I've done that a another, million times, dude. I, I have you really? That's yeah. a good idea. Wow, dude. I find that getting married Danny, has that's, been like super... <laughs> maybe the smartest thing I've ever heard. No, dude, it works Especially for you. 100% like, dude, of the time. Oh, my God. It would be so... Like, if, if you were hooking up with girls, right, and, like, it started getting out of hand... If, if this rumor started going around that you're gay and you're just secretly gay, like the girls probably wouldn't even tell that many people. They'd be like, they'd be kind of embarrassed. Like, ah, oh, yeah, he fucked. He's they don't want to tell people that they fucked a gay dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I yeah. feel like, I don't know. It would, it would work out honestly in your favor. No, but I'm, I'm saying this though. Um, what if you do kind of like the Clooney thing where you date just really dope chicks, but just like for three Three years at a time, and they all have been married, married, isn't he? Now, but yeah, like he got married like 55, buddy, you know, or 60, even so. again. He's also worth about 170 million well, dollars, world famous. You don't know, I mean, that's where you're, you're, you're gonna be worth about 170 million. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe. go, yeah, no, nah, but yeah, I mean, you, you could just date like really awesome chicks, right. but they all happen to be a little <laughs> younger, I guess. I don't know. I'm attracted to a lot of older chicks nowadays. Oh, are you Leonardo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. He's, like, wow. he's like overcompensating, dating like a 50 year old woman or something. And Leo, when Leo says he's attracted to a lot of older chicks, he would entertain the idea of titty fucking them. So or, he oh, would like never Nina, make love to them or, or be like in a relationship. reading a book on how to be a sub for them, you know, let them like walk yes. over him with uh, mm-hmm. high heels or something, mm-hmm. right? I uh, I do think that I have a lot of problems, but I am slowly <laughs> overcoming them. I think uh, hopefully, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. I I just have to stop. Uh, I have to I have to kind of expand my horizons. I think yeah. that's the key. I mean, dude, if it works for you, like I mean, Leo, the amount of times I've encountered you and you seem depressed is pretty low. And if it's working for you, mm-hmm. I don't think there's a problem with it. I I, I mean, if it doesn't feel right to go fuck a bunch of random chicks that's when you probably should be like all right i need to transition or do a stage of my life but if it's fucking working for you dude and you're happy and okay with yourself i mean los angeles people are doing that like you like clooney but even not clooney even anonymous dudes i have i don't know what it is but i've had there's so many people in my life that have that have pointed me in this direction it's weird bro but like it's not that weird i guess but there was a guy at Waterworld. he was married for like 25 years and he did everything right in life and was like in a very happily happy married happily married married dude and he said one day we were having beers and we got hammered together which was like 
weird because he was like a 50 year old dude working at Waterworld that was like you know he owned a house and he was just like a professional dude but it's getting hammered with me i was like 20 25 8 at the time or whatever anyway he, he looks at me at some point he goes man he goes leo he's tipping one back and he goes if i look like you i'd never fucking get married <laughs> he literally told me that and he was like the most loving husband to his wife but he literally told me like why would you get married if um, you know if you can if you can pull some tail? I guess you know. Yeah. So my here's the thing uh, though with married guys giving you that advice is when you're married. Brooks is married. He knows this. Or like when you're in a long term relationship, your brain thinks of being single as you have the same level. Your your brain conceives it to be that how I feel right now in the marriage, comfortable, supported, loved. Your brain makes you think you would have that feeling. Plus the benefit of some random tail on the side. That's and, the benefit and, of swinging. But you're, that is true. <laughs> but, but, but what that guy's brain didn't actually realize is that if he was not in a, in a marriage anymore, he would feel crippling emptiness on top of the slight excitement of fucking a random chick. Right. So he, he just sees the upside. He just sees the grass is greener. Yeah, and I get like I get the the loneliness can go away. Like if I if I go out enough, there'll be some. Some chick will, will come up to me and uh, make, me feel, <laughs> make me feel great about myself. And, yeah. uh, How will she do that, Leo? Physically? Oh, yeah. She might, <laughs> she might just be down to have some fun. You know what I mean? So I life, you mean. life goes on, man. I, uh, I, uh, I don't know, man. I guess I, in Los Angeles, it's not, I'm not in the, uh, there's a lot of people my age who are not married, thankfully, because we're here, right? That's a good thing. I mean, like most of our friends now, but I mean, Adam Toy Dude's getting married. It's not going to really. He's change. married. He's not going to. Really he's married. Get, yeah, he's married. No, he's married. It's not going to change much for him. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this wedding. We uh, we we're chilling. We're, we got a long pod going today, but we'll just wrap it up on this. Yeah. So Adam Twenty Two, I was at his wedding, and first of all, if you've seen Succession, it is straight out of Succession. The wedding, it's at a 16th century castle. There's fucking Italian guys in tuxedos running around with champagne high quality hors d'oeuvres the best desserts and foods sinatra cover band there jeez that would have been that's that's what i want man fireworks why don't you go a fucking full-on fireworks show no, after I'm they not, got married i don't know adam that well you might have been able to go as my plus one could have won yeah. it's a huge fireworks show goes off but when we're sitting there and they're saying their vows and shit i look in the crowd and i'm like hey adam said sex with that girl <laughs> hey he's had sex with that girl too Oh, and that uh, the girl over there with her husband? Yeah, Adam's fucked her also. And I went up to Adam after the ceremony. I was like, hey, did, you, did you look out and like ask yourself how many girls you fucked that were in the crowd? He's like, yeah, I started counting at some point during a lot of... Uh, I counted about six. That's he, hilarious. He didn't say he counted during Letta's vows. I made that up. But he did say that he counted about six girls he'd fucked in the crowd. And Letta was there on the couch when he fucked them too. So there was no great secret here. Well, lucky him, right? <laughs> what if, like, I became obsessed? I became obsessed with doing that. To it for my it, so whoever I married, I have to like just. It's got to be like cousins of hers, like because people that are getting invited to the wedding, dude. It's got to just be like her sister, her best friend. Because you want to fuck them? Yeah, because I want to have six like Adam Twenty Two. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be. It's gonna <laughs> for be for anybody else. It would be so tough. I don't know how you have a wedding where you are getting married to a woman and you have six women also in attendance that you fuck. I have an idea. You guys should have Guinness Book of World Records come and like authenticate that as <laughs> a world record. Like most bitches you fucked at your own wedding. That's a great idea. I'm sure they would love that. I'm sure it'd be you the front so? page of the 2024 edition. If you had, if you were in <laughs> on the marketing team, though, you would suggest such a thing. A lot yeah. of people keep a list of every person they've had sex with on their phone. It's just whenever you're getting married, that's your invite list for your guests. Did list. you find it in your ex girlfriend's phone? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I've had girls show me that they like because some girl was asking me if why girl I, did I, that. I, they asked like, me oh. what my body count was, and I was like, oh, I've never counted. And then this girl was like, I have a list of all the guys I've kissed before. You should be wow. like, there's the door. Fine. Well, you should have had Dino. If it just, just be like, kissed. Hey, bitch. Wait, what, what if it was like three names long, and it was the only guy she'd kissed? Still. You guys are going to be pulling <laughs> so many Italian. bitches in this house, though. Let me just say that right now. No, like, they're not. Uh, at, I'm going to have to get I'll King Croc autistic with the statistics. I'm going to need to like, I track. want a fucking whiteboard with a tally of bitches fucked in the house oh, at all sense. times. I've got some whiteboards. I want it right it there. I want it maybe behind us on the pod. Dude, that'd be unbelievable. <laughs> that'd be, we're that looking and we're like, Dino, three this weekend? We should have a high score over the like nah. six months. Who fucks the most chicks? It's gotta, if you strike out with a chick, though. 
it's a negative number. So Dino could just get deep into the negatives and never even come out. That, you know that's not fair, dude. You know it's not fair because for every girl you hook up with, there's usually like 25 strikeouts. How dare you? Absolutely. Make those I mean, equivalent. Less for some of us, but others, I would say that that's a normal number and it's actually accurate. I mean, if you, it's everything's a numbers game, so... Yeah, so we'll leave it at that. But I will say before we get into this, before I was dating Mia back in the day, I hooked a chick came over who like found me off the channel and she came over and we sat down on the couch and we talked about hooking up and she pulled out her phone. She had a list of guys she'd hooked up with Austin. She added me to the list and was like, okay, I guess we can do it. Danny Mullen. And then we didn't end up having sex. So I think what that means is wherever that girl is, whatever she's doing today, I get to have sex with her. Yeah, she Call her is. up right now, dude. Because it's like double jeopardy. Like, if I you get indicted for murder, it turns out I didn't do it, you can kill the person. Wait, time out. Do you have her number? Yeah. Let's try to just call her on the bot randomly. No. <laughs> do, do, do. Come on. See, if she, see if you're still on the list. Come dude. on. No. Did you, did you want to talk about the guys dating porn stars a little bit, though? Did we talk about that? Uh, Not uh, really. We, we'll, we'll talk about it quickly. But basically, yeah, <laughs> we teased this early on. But basically, like, Kazumi's boyfriend was there. Yeah. And then this one chick who is really fucking hot, actually. She's a porn star with braces. She's, like, 29, has two kids, but just, like, looks great. I saw her slap Adam-22's ass on the dance floor. He just turned around and gave her this weird look and then just walked away. But she was there with her boyfriend. He was a manager at a local restaurant in the state she's from. Oh. Um, very nice guy, but like wow. clearly. And I, I, I'm just be like, hey, man, the fucking confidence you have, all you guys, to date these chicks is amazing. But then you start to see like one of the girls flew out from Australia. She dropped 30K on fucking tickets for her and her guy. 30k on airline oh tickets. my god they're probably probably first class right they had their own suite like their own basically like a hotel room on the plane oh come on kazumi dude just like fucking first class like buying her man like new clothes fucking whatever and it's just it's crazy that like if you have the mental armor to deal with that you can be a sugar baby as a guy it's awesome I mean, or if you're I, a cuck, then it's just a bonus both ways. Yeah, if you love it. Hey, man, like, the way I look at it is... I must Fuck off! Hey, Wait, suck sh my fucking no, cock. No, 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 Sorry. Think, <laughs> he's working, he's working. Is that Amazon? <laughs> oh, is it Amazon? <laughs> That's gonna happen all the time in this house, dude. dude. You're gonna get your dude. Going. That's gonna happen all the time. We have a guy Sorry. working downstairs on Sorry. one of the bedrooms. Well, sorry. He, he should know there's a podcast going on up here. But guys, it's been the Leo and Danny show. That was the Leo and Danny. Subscribe to the Patreon. See some more. Um, thank you guys for coming. Goodbye. Mm.